bitch ain't humble enough. Mmm, when the morning comes. I just looked at my wrist, I got time today. Ride with the mob, hum do our law. She can get gangster, we can keep it cordial. How you wanna go back? How you wanna go and get more addicted to it? I know I am. I know I am. I'm addicted to it. I it's the mob, so you gotta get initiated. If you a mob, then you gotta make an issue. Pass the mob. But y'all think by doing all this shit behind the scenes and gathering together that y'all was gonna get rid of me and somebody fucking lied. Cause y'all not. Y'all sent somebody before. And then every time y'all try it, everyone that tries it learns the hard way. I'm chosen. I'm a chosen one. I'm not going nowhere until I fuck I want to go somewhere. Period. 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 Like, yo, what the fuck is it going to take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going no fucking where. What is it? What is it? Yeah, we finna set it off in this motherfucker. This house, there's some holes in 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 this house, there's some holes. Girl, in this episode, of there's some holes in this house, baby. <laughs> baby, the YouTube streets have been going crazy about, I mean, a, a number of things. But one of the things, hey, Daytown, let me, wait a minute, before we get into that, let me say, hey, Juicy, Juicy. Juicy Juicy Box, OC Girl, Tanisha, Sharon, Who Kim, Mariah, Tanisha. We got Josh in the building and CB. Hello. Mm hmm. CC Life. Bookie. 
Yes, CB and um, Josh have strolled in holding hands, honey. <laughs> um, I love, do y'all love CB? Because we love, I love CB. She is just like, she's going to keep it 100. Okay. That's what we like. Denisha in Florida. Where first baby mama at? First baby mama is not going to like this story, girl. Mm -mm. So we, my girl T, y'all know you, you know that song, that some hoes in this house. Y'all, so y'all know what time it is. Yellinated, girl. Yellinated dropping receipts, girl. Mm -mm. Show them dropping stuff. So y'all, um, KC Love, Ebony with the IE, CC Life. Uh, Frederick, my boy Frederick White, Lady Devereaux. Um, y'all, and I'm sorry for um the move in time because girl, Texas time is an hour behind. But today we're gonna hear from our girl Jade. Okay, Jade and um and SD because now we heard from Jade the other day, and it was more so like you know. It was kind of, it was kind of all over the place. It was a lot going on, but um, since then, um, Isha has, um, you know, made her business to um, who Kim rooting up in here, Sharon. I got, I said Jessica Stone. If I missed anybody, I hope I didn't because I don't want to make this too long. But so, girl, y'all know what I said. What, what am I doing? Bro, I'm all in y'all business now at this point. Y'all, you know, Dawn Play, you gonna keep it, uh, you gonna keep it a coach over here. What the fuck we doing over here? Child, we over here being the people business and stuff. <laughs> That's what we do over here. We in people. We in, we in people business over here now. Y'all didn't know that? The Juice 23? Yeah. We, we in people business now. We don't. But y'all know I don't like, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not so much as I don't like side chicks. I, it's not that I don't like it. I'm open to listen to both sides of the story. But y'all know we come from a sector because we got our own sector, right? Where the sideline doesn't know our guidelines, okay? <laughs> and see, sometimes the sideline, sideline ho. <clears throat> I wish I could sing. See, sometimes the sidelines don't know their guidelines, okay? And what they attempt to do is embarrass or tarnish another woman's name, right? And so I only think that it's right to allow the woman and the man to speak her piece and address the lies. Y'all know I don't like being lied on, so I don't like when people are lied on. So if there's any lies that out good sis JJ is 22. Did you see the did y'all see the title of this live? Let me remove my Oh, no wait. <laughs> Let me remove my This is the interview. A 22 year old. A 22-year-old taunted. Isn't this, isn't this messy? Did y'all like my thumbnail? This will be the interview. A 22-year-old taunted by a 35-year-old jump-off. Excuse me. Ladies, can y'all remember when y'all was in your 20s? Do y'all remember when y'all were in your 20s? Huh? Can I repeat? Ladies. Can I get some flame? No, I don't even want. What, 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 what do we need to put? What, what, what we got? Let me see. What emoji should we put in the chat for when you was in? Put the emoji in the chat that describes you in your 20s. Please? Describe yourself in an emoji. In your 28 years, 18 years ago for me. And I bet you don't forget it. I bet you ain't forget those 10 years of your life. 20, 21, 22, 23. I bet you put, put everybody drop an emoji in the chat for that describes you. 
My twenties was lit. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Baby. Mm. Can y'all put an emoji in the chat for your twenties, please? Up, uh, she said, it's a party. Yes, Rudy said, it's a celebration in your 20s, honey. Woo, demon time. And Florida was on demon time in the 20s. Jesus, praise God. Don't bring them to the... Like, yes, yes, fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, you was goofy in your 20s. Hit it with the blink. Ooh, you was a snooze fat. Ooh. Ooh, let, let's go champagnes and bottles and things and whoo we got caught wheels and lipstick and whoo jesus in your 20s let's go juice box has the egg <laughs> so, baby if you can describe look, rudy has the listen listen wait i look good now i was what? yes hold on let me see yes girl Yes, wait, with the emojis in your girl. She got the punch girl. She got the punch gang. You was punch gang in your 20s. Let's go. Somebody else was pregnant. Hold on. What was y'all doing? Y'all pregnant and in love. Let's go. And in your 20s, was you pregnant? Oh, you was in the music, you was dancing. Okay, Yashika was pregnant. KC Love was oh Lord in her 20s. She had a ring, baby. We're not judging your juicy, juicy juice box. Okay, juiciest box, okay. We're not judging, trust me. We're not judging. You know, okay, okay, yes. And it's funny, she was, yes, cutting up. Yes, yes. I'm right, said in my 30s, is popping. Yes, what Tanisha said, it was fire, it was smoke, it was a lot of eggplant, and woo, dancing, though. <laughs> she was dancing. Okay, let's go. Okay, champagne bottles in your 20s, but handcuffs. Oh, we know showing up was in the joint. It's okay, it's okay, John. What? Look, look. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. That girl, Cece likes talking about she was an angel. Girl, where's the? We not playing that. We not. Mm -mm. Yo, I slipped on a few on a few eggplants back in my twenties. Allegedly, I can't take. I can't stand y'all. My emoji would be, uh, oh, you was in the Marines. Let's let's go. Shauna, Shauna was, y'all know Shauna, you know, Shauna was up in the, um, she was doing time. It's okay. Shauna is a church lady now. She ain't playing it. Mm -hmm. Look, look, Shauna, <laughs> who Kim said she was on the run a few times. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Let me drop the link for, for our people over here. First baby mama, let's go. First baby mama was cutting the rug. She was in love, cutting the rug. Then she was pregnant. Then she was working the child. She was drinking. Child. And I can. Baby. Damn, D, let me win. Girl. Okay. Shauna, will you like that? Way? Like, yeah, in the 20s, she was gone, baby gone. That's okay, though. Guess where she at now? Shauna, you would never even know. But hold up, let me um let me um but yeah just um I think this story not this story but this whole situation just because you know um Jade is in her 20s, she's 22. Um she's doing things, yes, it was Holly was that's holy water. Oh shit. <laughs> in case we love is spreading holy water. So um our girl Jade is 22. Um, and, you know, I think we all have made our mistakes in our 20s. We was firecrackers in our 20s. Some of us, we might have did some things at the end. We'd have been dead. Listen, even for the females, child, some things, we could have been dead on jail, child. You don't know. But we made our mistakes in our 20s. That's when you're supposed to make your mistakes. Well, my mother always told me you need to make your mistakes before you before you turn 18, because that's when it counts. But girl, I I'm just saying. Oh. I dated a man who stuck his pinky toe in my man, his pinky toe peen in my belly button. Child in your 20s. Lord. Okay. Well, so today we're gonna talk to Jade and, and, and SD, right? But Jay, I, I really like her. She's a little firecracker. She just reminds me of me when I was in my 20s, girl. 
Um, nobody, y'all ain't put no guns in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was in, when I was in my 20s, I mean, anything was possible because in your 20s, a lot of the times, like in your teens, you think you're invincible, but in your 20s, I think it's like a, you get even more, like you get another cape. You get another cape, you feel me? And you think you just, you got some money, you, you, you fine. You know what I'm saying? You dating older men, girl. I just, I am feeling Jade to the 10th power, girl. I understand. I feel her. I feel her. I like her. She a firecracker. She young, and she's not playing with nobody. Okay. Jay got some receipts tonight, y'all. We gon' we not gonna play with Jay. Okay. And we're not gonna play with Jay. Cause in your twenties, you don't care about a lot of things. Y'all ever been in your twenties and, and in love and stuff? Yes. Have you ever been in your 20s and in love and stuff? Girl, it's toxic in your 20s. It's real toxic in your 20s, girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I want you to hear from my old bitch. See, when you 35, shit like this, we're going to hear until we're going to wait for Jay to call in, but we're going to hear from Isha, a 35 year old. Um, ran through bimbo. Y'all know I don't really care for that hell too much, but we're going to try to be as unbiased as we possibly can here. But when I hear this, I want to hear from y'all. I want to know what y'all think when y'all hear this. Jade is calling in already. Jade, I want you to hear, hear a little bit too. We're going to keep you here because she got right right to it. So after we did that, um, after Jade called in the other day, we got Jade. Look at her. Look at her fine self. Look at Jade. Jade is in the building, y'all. Crazy ass Jade. Let's go. Jade, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I can hear. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted us to hear just a, a tad bit of after you called in the other day, because some people may have not been here, but we're going to get into that. But I just want them to hear from your elder, Isha. Okay, um, she's 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 uh, 13 years your elder. I'm your senior. And we're going to hear what she had to say after you, just a few minutes. We don't have to hear the whole thing, but. That's okay. I'm, I'm I just want to get a feel of where the, the mood here. So Jade called in after, um, you know, Jade, y'all know who Jade is. Jade is SD's girlfriend. Okay. Everybody say, hey, Jade, girl. <laughs> so Jade is SD's uh, girl. Me, me. Listen. Yes, me. SD. Yes. Oh, not my girlfriend, my fiance. You gotta get it right. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> gotta get it right. Hold up. Don't let me bust them. I wish I could do all kind of music. If you like it, you should put a ring on it. If you like it, you should put a ring. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I wish I could. Why do you say I should have just had the music? Like, uh -oh. can y'all play the music? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, if you like a thing, you should have put a ring on it. If you like a thing, you... let's go, Jay. Jay does not play with nobody. Hello, Beyonce Storm. Okay, but anyway, let's hear from um this um elder who is uh 13 years her senior. Okay, let's hear what she had to say. We're just going to hear a little bit um because I want to. You guys got to understand where we're, you know what type of. Move. We're set. Yeah, congratulations. Let's go. Oh, um, it's SD birthday. Can we get some happy birthday SDs up in the chat? Hello. Where's the birthday cakes and the celebrations? Mm. Congratulations are in order. Yes, congratulations, Jaden SD. Mm -hmm. SD is like forty with a twenty-two year old girlfriend. Hmm. Okay, we've got trolls in the building. Uh huh. Jade. Jade. We're going to address that. This is an interview, honey. We have all the questions. So um, sit back and relax. Hey, y'all, Lil Wayne fan. Hey, y'all. Y'all said happy birthday to SD? Absolutely. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Happy birthday. Wait a minute. Hold up. Don't make it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Don't make me. We got to go to back to Baltimore real quick. We don't play like that. Come on. <laughs> Yo, 
القهوه مين اللي قهوه روح 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 His birthday tomorrow. It's not today. Birthday is tomorrow. Y'all turn up for blood tomorrow. <coughs> Thank y'all. Sorry, y'all. Uh, so, yeah, his birthday tomorrow. We were just saying we might not see SD tomorrow, so we're going to say happy birthday tonight. But, y'all, I just want to get a quick, um, um, just a quick snippet of the response that it, it, it's, the video is called It's Up and It's Stuck at SD. And this is from Isha, okay? And Isha is the sideline, know your guidelines, hoe. Um, and we're going to hear a, cu a couple things before we get into what Jade has to say. Um, and as D has to say, we're going to we're going to get into what some of the things that um, um, we're going to get into some of the things that Isha had to say. So we got and we are probably we could possibly be coming from a different point of view because we have different subscribers. So I just want you guys to come. You know, you might not know who Isha is. You might not know who Jada is, but I want to know your opinions um, and also to give Jada opportunity to, you know, speak her piece about the things that have been said. So let's hear some of the things that Isha had to say results it should clean and clear okay but everything else yeah Gigi told the motherfucking truth i was trying to keep the motherfucking peace between them because i know that nigga did it he said this shit come on now my nigga you got that little 22 y'all she finna get your ass wrapped the fuck up i ain't i ain't i'm not holding back no more i'm tired of it you wanna go there Isha finna take it there yeah and you ain't got to worry about each and no more. Nigga, don't text me talking about you sorry and all this shit like that. Hell no, my nigga. That's over with right there. I'm tired of your motherfucking apologies. <laughs> Hold on. Let, <laughs> damn, I'm, I'm going through y'all. Let, let me, I'm about to, um, and she probably thinks she's slick because, um, yeah, she probably took this shit away. Hold on, we're gonna have to get right, to them. Uh, She's let me go ahead and start sending them to my um a message though. Don't worry. Everybody, I got your message that y'all seen it and all like that. Y'all continue to pile up, continue to pile up. I see you so yes, I'm coming with the motherfucking facts and um fucking aware I just... of what she sent me. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I'm, I'm sending them. Hold on, y'all. Give me time. Girl, hey, she... Alan. Salute, y'all. Salute. Don't be shy, ladies. If bloody the fuck. <laughs> okay. And look, y'all better believe her when he say she was sniffing the motherfucking period of panties because that nigga ate me. Oh, bloody the fuck. Yeah, let's really go there. Can you meet right there? I mean, pause it right there. Most definitely, I'm going to say it. Yeah, my nigga. Uh, you said pause it right there? Yeah, I don't know where they get that period. I think they got that from Mayor. Well, Mayor was like that he was smelling my period penis. I never said that. That never came out of my mouth. Mayor was just fucking around, um, trolling and shit, just saying it. Because he never smelled my period uh, panties. Like, I don't know what she's talking about there. And she, that was don't even like period blood. So in her pussy, I already know that's a lie. Okay, yeah, we, we gonna get we gonna get into that. I just wanna um play some of this so you can kind of so people can kind of get the vibes of this whole thing right quick. Now go tell, go run that, bitch. You been kissing out on that bitch. You been sucking on this motherfucking bloody pussy, and you said it tastes good too. <laughs> it was so motherfucking out of his motherfucking mind, bitch. Yeah. 
Don't worry, y'all. Hold on. I'm steady. Um, so steady that sounds truthful to you guys. Like, does that sound truthful? Not, not you, Jade. I'm talking about. I'm just giving my little, cause I'm just. Mm. So she just kind of like freestyled that, right? Just came out of nowhere with that. But we'll, we'll, we're gonna get into that in a minute. But I'm just. Mm. I just want you to hear a few minutes of this. Not long, y'all. These motherfucking receipts. Yeah, you wanna run my motherfucking night? Yeah. Isha, uh, Isha about that, most definitely. Hold on, what is this? Calling me and shit like that, and sending me messages and shit, bitch. Cry, cry me a motherfucking river, ho. Yeah, nigga, a motherfucking vampire. Yeah. She won line. Gigi won line, but I told him the slowest motherfucking roll. But he's he steady, you know what I'm saying? He got that little bitty bitch over there. Uh Janae, which that ain't your real name, bitch. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is a 35-year-old woman talking to a 22-year-old girl. So this is where I'm a little turned off at it with it. Like, but let's continue. I'm piling up. Yeah, pile on up in here. Cow the fuck on up in here. That was why he loved it. Yeah. The bitch was eating my motherfucking pussy before he ever got a chance to fucking fuck. Mm -hmm. Let's put it out there. Okay. Don't fucking play with me, dog. Hold on, y'all. I'm steady adding this shit on up. I don't even know how y'all even speak this. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me. I, I'm gonna drop the link to. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm trying to understand why she's so upset. <laughs> you know how the sideline girls get so like they. Wh why are you upset? You're just. But anyway. My receipts on somebody else. Let me go through. Why is she so mad? <laughs> Salute to everybody. 144 smash the like. Oh, God. She's so slow. Okay. Yeah. I'm being y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I kept y'all waiting and stuff. Your girl had to finish her homework. You know what I'm saying? Because you, um, you say you work for the government. Yeah, bitch, I work for the government. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what they've been doing to us for many motherfucking years and shit. Bitch, I'm fucking them shit. Fuck all that shit. I sure do. But she doesn't work for the government. That was a lie, too. But anyway. What, they, what the fuck they going to do about it, bitch? the fuck they gonna do about it but bitch you claim that you you work for the motherfucking government Isha, do he like it uh, but wait i'm just trying to understand like so you have a 22 year old who works for the government or says she works for the government so no you do but you don't oh but you're a baggage handler but okay let me stop because well, this is the interview want no tampon in it. Mm. i don't use tampons okay like bloody pussy. okay mm. Keep it 100. So you guys are going to make me think that she's not freestyling here, but go ahead. Yeah. Why he up here playing games and shit like that? Uh-huh. I don't want to add adding on to it. Because a bitch do love screen record because, you know, that little bitch, she good at uh, trying to take shit back. Go ahead and pile on up in here. Smash that like button, y'all. Get ready because I'm about to come with every motherfucking thing. Fuck that bitch and fuck him. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Mm. Mm. Could you imagine, guys? So she let him. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm. So she let him slide the blood. I don't even like saying this. It sounds so gross, but so she let him slide the bloody maxi pad to the side. Like, could you guys imagine that all in the car? Are we supposed to believe this? <laughs> I mean, are we? Can I say something right there? So he told me about this story when they was oh. outside um, Creamer House and they fucked and everything that day. The bitch never had on the pad. She was fucking just sitting there like basically like just. Uh -huh. Let me explain this. Okay, well, explain it. First of all, it happened like this. And I ain't got no reason to lie. 
We was in Cream House. We left up out that bitch. We went to the car. I was fucked up, like fucked up. So I didn't realize what the fuck really had happened, what took place. I know I didn't fuck, though. I did know I didn't fuck. You told me you was fucking hush, outside hush, the hush, car. Hush, the hush. door was open. Hush, I'm going to get to all that. You got to let me speak my shit. So, boom, it was like this. So, I was fucked up. And the next day, I realized I had makeup on my shirt, this, this, and that, and all that, and the third. So, I sit up there, and I said, hey, did you suck my dick or some shit like that? Because I got makeup all on the bottom of my shirt. She was like, yeah, because you were sitting up here talking about you couldn't take it and this, that, and the third, and all this type shit. So, I'm like, okay. And then, so, you know, when you drunk, you start remembering other shit. So I start remembering when I was trying to fuck her, but my dick won't get hard. This real shit. And babe, you know how I am. Yeah, you oh, yeah. So look, so my dick won't get hard. And it was people outside that was looking at us. A nigga smoking a cigarette and shit like that. And I'm still like trying to fuck her type shit, but my dick won't get hard. So when she started talking about his period type shit, none of that shit was going the fuck on. One no motherfucking period on my dick, no period on my mouth, none of that type of shit. She was fucking eating my dick up in the motherfucking car. That let's be real clear about that shit. And that's the first time that I had ever fucked with Isha, ever like did anything like that. Bitch okay, had on. So that was a question that I had because. Uh, the reason why I was going to ask you that is because in another episode of Isha and her storytelling, she said that you, you all, so I had some questions for you, but if we can go out of order if you want, but the, so if you want to address this first, because mm -hmm. that is like the elephant in the room. Um, so Isha is basically saying that, and, and we all heard her say it this time, right? Mm -hmm. She just kind of like freestyled it. Mm -hmm. out of nowhere and said it right mm -hmm. and then they asked her if she wore tampons and she's like and, and this is like a discussion that honestly it disgusts me even to like see people having this conversation like it's disgusting it sounds disgusting i feel like it's disgusting i wouldn't even want like it's it would, i would never tell nobody no shit like that right mm -hmm. in my opinion she's using it as a tool to embarrass you and um your girlfriend because she's very bitter and upset of but, course that is my bias but i'm just saying that hey but um so if i'm on my period right i'm envisioning myself being on my period i wear tampons personally um mm. but if i if i had to wear a pad and this is such a disgusting conversation that i hate to even go down to this chicken head level um but since we are there and hood rat um level as isha is um if I had a pad on, I wouldn't even like open my legs to a man like in no way. Cause it'll be funky, girl. Like pads don't like that. That's not like a comfortable like in the car. In no. the car. So the I'm sorry. The story doesn't sound believable. It sounds Didn't she like got some salt, some water in a bucket or something. Man, to that wash girl, it first? That, listen, let me let me explain something. The girl one on her period. That's number one. Number two. I don't fuck with that type of shit. It wasn't no pad, dirt, none of that type of shit. She didn't have nothing on under the dress that she had on. She had on a little, like, I guess it was like a little, I don't want to say a nightgown, but it was some really short little, little, little ass dress type shit. She didn't have nothing on, one no, one no tampon, one no pad, one no panties. Okay? Uh -huh. One, none of that type of shit. Well, and I mean, a lot of the girls, I mean, we did see Bomb. Um, she doesn't wear panties. She wears dresses. Um, she's, I mean, one of the girls that over there with um, Isha, she's a girlfriend of Isha's. She doesn't wear um, dresses or, and you you, you were in the DMs. We saw that, Bomb. So, um, <clears throat> Bomb, I hope you're not speaking about this because you did have a tampon on and no and, and dressing. You were twerking. So, maybe, maybe that's, that, that's uh, Isha and her friends' things to do. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I don't know. We don't do that over here. Uh, but twerking and stuff with dresses on and no undies and tampon mm -hmm. showing. I don't know. So, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to the topic. But you said that there was no tampon. It was no. It wasn't no pad. It wasn't none of that. I ain't eat no pussy on no, no bloody period. I ain't even fucking you on no bloody period. 
I don't do that. So when she's talking about Gigi said the truth about this and that, what the fuck can Gigi say when she, I never fucked with, never seen her in life. The fuck? Gigi right. be on some other freaky type of shit that I ain't mm -hmm. never brought up before. Okay? okay. Yeah, that, that, that weirded me out about her ass. And, okay. And, and the, okay, I'm going to slow down on this shit. Okay, let's slow down. Yeah, let's, let me slow ahead. down on it. Let's, let's go ahead and back it up. <clears throat> but this is where out of order. Okay. So this, so that's, that's, we're gonna we're gonna go in order, me. Just just if that uh, what, all right, what? we're just gonna get rid of that part right here. But <laughs> so basically what Isha said was that you guys had sex. Um, and I hate to say this, guys, I'm sorry, but um a total of three times. So this 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 incident that she speaks about about the period thing. That was supposed to be your first time meeting up with her in real life, or just your first time? No, that no, nah, that wasn't my first time meeting up meeting up with her in real life. I met up with her twice before that, mm -hmm. and um, uh, one time we had went out to eat, and another time I just met her in downtown, mm -hmm. and uh, we met up. That was that. Uh, that third time I had, uh went to um. Uh, cream house, mm -hmm. and that's when uh she sucked my dick and shit like that, and uh mm -hmm. you know that was dead, and I couldn't fuck her. But then it was after that when uh since she liked to try to make me out to be a um a trick, you know what I'm saying? Talk about because I I took her and her kids out to the aquarium uh -huh. and, and took them out to eat and shit like that after church, which is all facts. Okay, but um. Put, put this shit up. But um, she tried to make it out to be like, um, like I'm a trick. But she the one who paid for the motherfucking hotel. That when I first fucked her, and we was on transparent live, mm. and I had her squirting all up in the motherfucking bed and making Josh jealous and shit like that. And her baby daddy kept calling me fucking block on my fucking phone, mm -hmm. calling her over and over and over and over and over. Now, this okay. is all facts. This is mm -hmm. all true. This is shit that I don't like to speak about because mm -hmm. I always try to keep shit player, keep shit real. But when you mm -hmm. try to make me out to be a certain type of way and defame mm -hmm. my character, no, I can go there with you. I understand. So, so all right. So, let's just back it up a little bit. So, for the people who don't understand, the people that don't know. So, you and Jade, right? So, Jade... Um, First of all, how do you and SD meet? Me and um, you talking about me and him? Or mm -hmm. me, me and each? Oh, no, okay. no. How did you and SD meet? We met on the way. I was on my way to work, and um, I had ended up seeing him, and we was like having a conversation about Black Friday or something. We was just talking like random, and then like um, he just asked me for my number, but but I met him on the way to work. Okay, on my way to work. Okay, so, and how long have you guys been together? We've been together for three and a half years, but I've been knowing him for, like, I was, no, we, we've been together for, like, three um, plus years, but I've been uh, knowing him for, like, a year and some change before we started dating. He, we was just good friends. Okay, so how did, what, so what, um, you know, what attracts attracted you to SD like what made you say you know what I want because to you. he was a good friend um we were like we'll never talk a lot like well we'll talk here and there and we'll just like kind of like randomly hit each other up just you know just to see how we doing and like we can kind of like talk to each other about like each other problems so after a while you know he'll be there for me and stuff and help me out and you know this is all you know without ever seeing him besides that one time when um we first met so after that i started to kind of fall for him a little bit you know because he was like the only person i was talking to because i was just like getting out of relationship with my son and dad and i just started to you know like him because you know south dallas is a type where he have a real strong game when it comes to talking to women and so i just started you know to like him a little bit and then that's when you know like we we just I don't even know like who asked each other out or how it went. It's just like we just ended up like getting together and we was just like it just all just fell together like after a year and a half. And we just started dating. So, okay. And so you have children? 
Yeah, I do have children. I have two boys. Two boys. Okay, so you you guys are you guys have an age difference. What, what does your family think about you? Um, what does your family think about SD? Like, do you? Do they, yeah. My family love him. My, my SD have met my family. Um, he has met my mom. He's met my dad. Um, he's met like um my aunt and uncles. We've been to family gatherings together. We've been on family vacations. My family love him, and like when we do come, you know, when situations do come up, you know, they kind of try to let me know, like, you have a good man, you know, like you you need to treat him right. And my family know how I am when it comes to my attitude and like different things like that. Um, but my family has met him and things like that, and. and we good over here, you know. Right. So you, so your family doesn't have it because people have been speaking about the age difference between you and SD. Does your family have an issue with the age difference? Um, you had already had two children by the time you and him got together, right? Um. Yes, I did. I yeah. So and you and SD don't have any children together as of now. No, like I already told you the situation with that, but no, we don't have right. any kids right now. Right. Right. Okay. So. Um, I know that you guys have like, you know, you get into some, some situations. Um, you guys have had some issues in your relationship and you basically are saying that your family, like, do they have an issue with the issues that you guys have been getting into? Um, I know sometimes the police have been recently, the police have gotten involved. What does your family think about that? Well, my family when everybody is looking at everything and everybody knows like what goes on, my family never looks at SD. They always look at me, even my aunt and my uncle, cause they've been married for many, many years. And mm -hmm. they know like, you know, some stuff that you don't do to men mm -hmm. and you have to be a woman, you know? And no, they never look at SD. My dad even, you know, cause my dad know, you know, how SD has been there for me and my family my boys and different things like that. And they know how good of a man he, you know, he's been and stuff. So they don't, when it, a situation comes, I'm always the problem. And, and let me say this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't put my hands on women. I don't give a fuck. There's a lot of niggas on this YouTube shit. They put their hands on women. I don't do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I got principle by myself. Now I touch a nigga, but I ain't about to put my hands on no female. I just can't do that. That ain't me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with this whole um, uh, YouTube jump off, right? So, did your family are you, is your family aware of, of Isha and like how this all played out on the internet? Um, my family don't know anything about like YouTube and like what Isha and them. They don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, they don't know anything about you know that. Okay. I don't think so. Do they know? They don't know anything about that. Okay. Besides my sister, my my little sister, she's the only one that knows, you know, uh, about that. I don't know. She probably could have maybe spoken to my mom about it, but nobody knows anything but my little sister. That's it. Okay. So so how did you um, first come to find out? Come to, come to find out about Isha in um, South Dallas. Okay, when I first found out about Isha in South Dallas, I had just literally met him at the mall because mm. we were talking and stuff like three days and then we planned it on to meet. Mm. And we finally did meet. I met him at the mall. And when mm. I met him at the mall, um, Gigi <laughs> and Isha called the phone and then I answered mm. and I was like asking like, you know, who was they and stuff like that. And they was telling me who they was. And I was like, Okay, and you know, I just kind of left it alone because, mind you, me and South Dallas has been broken up for a month, so you know, I I really couldn't say anything about it, so I really didn't care. And she was telling me how they had just fucked that morning and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, and stuff like that. And then that's when I hung up the phone, and then, you know, I was asking him, you know, like, you know, have you been speaking to these girls and stuff because, like, you 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 kind of fucking with them for a while, you know? I mean, not for a while, but like you you kind of like you went right away right away you know messing with girls or like did they just come you know and that's when you know he told me a little but not so much until like he came over to the house and stuff and then that's when we kind of sat down and we talked about stuff you know like basically catching each other up on what has happened in that month so i did end up finding out about well, isha okay hold on so let me just backtrack right quick because i'm sorry so by this time how long had you in south dallas 
um, how long have you all been together by that point, like in a relationship? Uh, we was together for three years. Right. So at this point, at that moment, when when you when you're talking about the mall, um, and you find out about Isha, how long had you? Oh, South oh, okay. I know what you're saying. Now we had just we had we haven't like confirmed our relationship together again like we we haven't said okay we finna we finna get back together we were just meeting and kind of talking like on friends levels you know to see like what are we gonna do you know right but i mean before at that point of the breakup how long had, had you all been together three years <laughs> no okay so as of today y'all been together for about three years right um it's going on like almost Four. Almost no four. four. Okay, okay. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, at that point, y'all had been together for three years, and then it was well, like we a... broken up over that month. Yes, it has been three years. August, okay. August, yeah, because August would have made a three year point, and now this happened in July. No. Okay. The, yeah. the breakup <laughs> happened in July. Yeah, this all happened in July. Okay, so at so in this July, 2022. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, it, 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 2022, you all would, would have been together for three years, uh -huh. and y'all took a, a break. Y'all had a breakup in yeah. July, right? Okay, all right. So that's how long you were together before this Isha situation kind of jumped off. So you found out about Isha um, through the mall, and does he is he honest with you about the Isha and Gigi situation or? <laughs> the phone he's very honest he went it, Gigi I think Gigi called first and Isha called second he picked mm -hmm. up the phone and you know he was just talking to him like hey you know I'm with my ex and that's when Gigi started texting like you know just kind of like going crazy like you know why is you with her and this this and that but <laughs> then, you know he just he was just straight up with it like he answered the phone and you know he was talking to him and stuff like that he hung up the phone and I, we just finished our conversation at the mall we was there for like about 20 minutes then we went you know both our ways he went to his place and I went to mine and then like maybe an hour or so later then we he came over and we was just kind of like working <laughs> our way back back in but right. we did speak about it. I think it was that night or maybe it could have been that morning that we did speak about like, you know, um, what had happened like out, you know, within that month of us breaking up. And it wasn't even just Isha that we spoke about. It was other people as well. Like, I don't know why people are just trying to make it seem like I'm just big pressed about her because it was other it was other women as well. But right. I mean, we, we were oh, was, up. OK, so now you guys get back together. And you, you you found out about Isha during your breakup, and then you guys ended up, you know, getting back together, right? Is yeah, we, we found out about Isha, yes, and then, yeah. Okay. yeah. So there's a point that you all get back together. Mm -hmm. And is that in August, September, or, like, when was that? Do you remember? Um, so when we got back together, it was, um, like, Towards the end of August, going into October, that's when we made it like, you know, we finna be together and we're going to do the family thing again. Okay. All right. So you guys get back together. Now, how did you, like, find out that Isha was, like, an issue? Like, wh when did Isha become an issue? How did it get to be so public? Like, when? it became an issue because, like I said, Isha was throwing slick shots. She was trying to make it known that she was fucking with South Dallas. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll ignore it. Sometimes I won't. And sometimes I'll come to him about it and he'll just want me to ignore it. But like I said, we was kind of going on. A, when, when we got back together after that month of breaking up, we was on our off and on thing. So, yes, he was communicating with her. I think it was for like a a week or so. And he was still communicating with her because, like I said, our relationship was off and on. I was having mixed emotions and stuff. And it became a problem when she would always be in the track throwing slick shit and, um, or on a panel saying slick stuff. I remember times like, well, we'll be out. And if she, like, maybe see my little feet come up or me coming, you know, speaking in the back, she'll say something sw slick. Like, whether it was to the queen lady up, not queen, I ate the other one. And then other people, she would just say slick stuff. So then I, you know, I came to him like, you know, hey, like this whole keeps saying shit, you know, and I'm like, are you still fucking with her or are you not? So mm -hmm. after that last time, I was like, really like, you know, pissed off. Like, I'm sick of this bitch 
what's up? So then that's when it all came out that, you know, Stop Dallas and her was still communicating. They was talking the whole time. Mm. Stop Dallas was basically selling her a dream, you know, trying to keep her in his back pocket because he didn't know, like, if it was going to rock out for real all the way or if, you know, I was just kind of like in my, you know, in my feelings wanting to be together or just, you know, wanting to break it off again. He didn't know. So then okay. it had, all had came out. When, so do um, you think, do you think that Isha was, um, do you think that Isha was, um, cause, because I'm just going to tell you that I didn't know about, I knew about Isha before I, I mean, I knew about SD and Isha before I even knew that there was a you. And that was basically because of Isha and also, also the money man situation. Um, well, I was, um. I wasn't on YouTube, you know, I was, I was doing out, I, I wasn't, I was doing my own thing, like at the house, like I was like being a, you know, doing woman stuff, you know, for the man. I was like, you know, I was either working, I was cooking and cleaning, I was giving him his space, like on the YouTube. Cause right. you know, you, I always told him like, when I hear him yelling and stuff, I was like that y'all, that's, that's messy. It's a bunch of y'all grown folks on here, you know, right. so it, it was never my thing, you know? So that's why I kind of just right. like do his little man business on whatever he do on YouTube. So that's why I was never, you know, there. But I do know that it is a few women that do know about me on YouTube because they will all be on group FaceTime calls with him and he'll be beside me or we may be out and about and he'll be talking to these women on the group FaceTime call. Mm -hmm. But this so, is all behind the scenes of YouTube. So Right. Right. So what I'm saying, do you think... Cause I, and I'm trying not to be so like, I don't want it to be like, I'm giving you the answers or anything like that. I want it to come from you because from my point of view, I, if I didn't know that SD would have had a girlfriend, like now looking back at it, I'm like, Isha was, if she, if she knew about you, then she was intentionally like, you know, putting herself in the like in the mix like you know what i'm saying like oh sd 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 like you know but can i say this also mink mm -hmm. um i told isha myself and she can be honest and she can tell you this herself too i told isha over the phone you could have still had south dallas you could have been still you know like communicating with him she probably could never seen him again but she could have still kept the shit going if she wouldn't have wanted to you know if she wouldn't want to make it known to you guys and me on youtube she was all on youtube in the comments and on, on the channels you know throwing slip yeah. shots and shit like that she was trying to make it known mm -hmm. to me you know if she would have kept it player like she called herself right they could have still had it going you know yeah, but she, she didn't want to do that. She was trying to piss me off because she knew where Sab Dallas' loyalty was. Just like she was when he was like kind of feeding her the little lies through text messages, just selling her that dream. When I was in the middle of work, because that's the only time he really had time to come in, you know, or I mean, talk to her through texts when I was at work. She, um, <clears throat> She was still in the chest and she was always, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but she'll always be like, that's my man. I'm going to stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him because she thought and felt like South Dallas was coming back to her. That's right. why she okay. wanted to make it known to everybody. Even on South Dallas mm -hmm. Live before, when I was talking to him in the back, she heard me bring up another lady. It was Roy T and a few other women. She was like, send me the screenshots. And she jumped on the live. So you talking to Roy T and you, she was in her feelings about it. And she was feeling some type of way whole time behind the scenes. South Dallas was texting her, you know, like talking to her, selling her this dream. I didn't know about it at this time. That's why she was feeling some type of way about everything and all of that. She wanted South Dallas. I, I believe that, but um, I'm going to try to stay as unbiased as I possibly can, although I'm not pro um, side chick, but let's just go ahead and keep it um, as uh, unbiased as I can, okay? So, um, you, you found out about Isha because you guys were at the mall. Um, did you feel, do you feel like, um, so what was your first um, interaction with Isha? Like, what was... Your first, like, how did you come in contact with her to talk to her? 
um, because you sent me some receipts um, that I have here. Um, but what was your first interaction? Because from what Isha was saying is that she, um, that you were calling her, um, just giving her your full life story. And, you know, and it seems like from our, from our um, communication from the last time that we talked, you knew a lot about her personal life as well. So I'm just curious because we're going to kind of, you know, um, address some of the lies and rumors that are out there. Isha is saying that you were calling her with your personal business and, you know, telling her your life story. No, um, I call and talk to Isha one time. We both was like, I told her, you know, she, I was told her, well, I'm gonna hit you up and I'm gonna call you on this day because South Dallas, you know, men, they try to sit up here and they try to talk about another woman to kind of like make this other woman feel this type of way, you know? So I called and I talked to Isha one time and I told her, I said, Hey, I was going to call you this morning. You know, she agreed. Like, you know, you can call, you can talk to me. And we talked on the phone for probably about 30 minutes or so. And, I was just basically clearing up a few lies that that she that she said was said about me, and mm -hmm. that's it. That's the only conversation I ever had with her over the phone, and I cut it loose. She also said that I was being friendly, but she was like, "Jade, I'm gonna give you a ranch, and I'm gonna do this. You can come in in the mm -hmm. chat. You know, you welcome over here." And I'm like, "Okay," but I never went there. Mm -hmm. Um, when I first ever came in contact with Isha is when she called his phone on when we was at the mall mm. and you know she told me she had just fucked him that morning i was i was asking who she was because i was you know i was just curious i was wanting to know like you know hey why were you fucking with other women you know while we were off and she did you know she said she did they was you know she that was fucking and stuff that morning and i was like okay and i hung up the phone that's my first time ever speaking to her now when he did take her out on sunday because you know like i said i was having like i was feeling this way one day i was feeling that way the next day so mm -hmm. with us being off and us being on one day i jumped on the panel not the panel like on, i just jumped on youtube and i seen that he was out with isha that's when I was contacting her. You know, I was contacting him first. Okay, so wait, like, were you guys together or apart at this time? No, we were, me and South Dallas was not dating. Okay. At this time. Mm -hmm. So I contacted him, you know, and stuff like that. This one, I was like over my little feelings and stuff. And I was wanting to be together at this time. I was texting him. He was texting me back, but he was texting me back slowly. So, um... I jumped on the YouTube, you know, because maybe he's on YouTube. So I jump on YouTube and this one he's taking somebody, you know, out on dates and shit on the field trip. <laughs> so field trip. that's when so that was the I, day of the field trip, the aquarium and um lunch. Yeah. So okay. that's why I'm pissed off because I'm like, bitch, you ain't texting me back. You over here lying to me. Like, just tell me. Like, you know, I I even text him, I told him, and he can tell you if I'm lying or not. I was like, if you out doing this and doing that. Just tell me, don't lie to me. You know, I'm fine. I'll be cool with it. But if you keep lying, then I'll be pissed off. And that's when I went to her because he told me to, you know, he was like, just go to her because I'm not with her. This is that. So I went to her Instagram and I was texting her, you know, like, um, what it was that and stuff like that. Because I was going to pull up that day. Yes, I was. And that's when I started texting her personally on Instagram. And I never texted her again until... I'll get in my feelings again, but it was never about her. If I had contact on Gigi, I probably would have messaged her or something. What I was doing as a petty, bitter woman, as I was being at the time, I was trying to destroy South Dallas. That was the whole goal. That's wanna, all I was doing. I gave her ammo because I was pissed off. Right. But it was never about her. I was hurting South Dallas. I was never pressed about her. Every time I hit up Isha, every time I sent her something, South Dallas would be mad at me. I was pissing right. him off. That's why I was doing the things that I was doing. Right. Okay. <laughs> so in your mind, you were um when you were sending him when you were sending Isha. So the video that Isha, okay, let's address the video. Well, hold on, because we're gonna stay right here for a second because Isha was saying that you were um 
if you guys have some questions that you want to ask, um, I'm not going to ask it from the chat, but you are welcome to ask it and I'll probably ask it, you know, when it's that time. So if you have some questions, girl, we're going to get to it. Don't, don't, I ain't trying to be biased all the way. Cause Jay, we going, this is a learning lesson for her too. Um, but if, so y'all have a question, I'm probably, I probably already had it written down, but if I don't, I will ask it. But so, so when she says that you are reaching out to her all the time, um, we do have a clip here of Isha and I just want to know like where this came from, like, and why this, like, what was this about? Because it was like, okay. When he, he told me that y'all got into us, I was like, well, why are you around her if that's your ex and y'all got into it? And he was like, um, he was helping you or something, some shit like that. And so I was like, oh, okay, then, you know, because he had shown me his face. Because I'm just like, uh-uh, like, this got to be your girl or something like that. For you allow, he was like, my partner don't like her. My partner be telling me to let um her, you know, leave her the fuck alone. And so I met his partners and shit. So I was just like, yeah. Wait, she met, okay. So why you can't take even your partner's word? You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, man, I am done with her. So I was just like, kind of, I was like, uh, he ain't done with it because you said, you know, this going on. So, but he was like, I am single. And then when I had found out, like, uh, when Puff was hitting me up and then she was like, he didn't got back with the girl. So he would never tell me. And then I'm just like, hey, like, what's up? Like, I thought we was better than that. So you done got back with your ex. No, no, no. I said, so somebody's just going to lie to me. And so, so this message was, is it true that this message was on October 15th? Yeah. But I can't hear what he said. Um, yeah, so this message was, it says October 15th. Is that about the date? Yeah, that's the date that the conversation, that's the day that we spoke. October 15th. So this is the day that she got locked up for um, strangling her, her son in a twerk -a -thon. Is that correct? <laughs> is this the day? This is also is that the day that Alicia got it with it tonight? Um, this said it's yeah, but that was the morning. That was that morning that we spoke. Um, this is 07. If I do know military time, it's a 07 55. So in the morning of the twerk -a -thon, Isha is messaging Jade, and by the night she was in jail. Is that true? Yes. Wow. I mean, this girl has a wild life here. So, um, but yeah. So she said you were being friendly, right? Yeah, she said I was being friendly, but I had told her in the beginning of the call when I first uh, called her. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, hey, basically, I'm just here to clear one thing. I'm not on no beef shit, but if you still want to smoke, we can do that. I'm just clearing up, you know, something that was said. That was it. And I left it alone and I started conversating. You know, we was conversating back and forth about, you know, stuff. I was clearing up shit. She was telling me shit that was said about me. And I was just like, oh, okay, and I'll, I'll clear up, you know, shit that stop, she said stop Dallas supposedly told her. Well, after at the end of the call, she was like, basically... Well, Jade, I see why he just wanted us to block you. Whole time he wanted us, them to block me because he know how I am. I get crazy sometimes. So okay. she was like, but you, you're welcome over here. You know, I'm going to rent you up and stuff like that. It ain't no beef. You know, um, you good. You you welcome to my piano and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And after that. And that's when, you know, we ended the call and I got to work at work. And then after that, when I was in the middle of work, I looked my, at my Apple Watch and I seen that she hit me up and she was like, um, she wanted to speak again, you know, woman to woman. Well, that don't even matter. But she was she was trying to be cool. Woman to woman, huh? At the end. One of those. And yeah, that that was that was that. So so let me get this right. So she all right, so this was a message to you. Okay. Um, it was a voice note, right? That was a voice note. And can we ask South Dallas? Um, in this voice note, it said that she met your friends. Did did she me meet? That's for me. Here, let me talk. Yes, South Dallas. Y'all can hear me. 
we can definitely hear you. Um, in this voice note, it's um, it looks like she's telling your girlfriend that mm -hmm. she's met your friends. She ain't never met my partners. No. Okay. Okay. So that, that, oh, I, what's she? What's she? What? Let me tell the story. What? What's called Tommy? Who? Oh. Remember that day? Uh. So when I spoke to um. My best friend. His best friend, South Dallas, <laughs> called him friendly. He was like, let me just go and clear some up right quick. And South Dallas called him, and he was like, hey, Eddie, have you ever met... Man, I call blood right now. No, I'm going to say it. He, he said, have you ever met, you know, um, the girl? And South Dallas was like, what girl? I mean, uh, Eddie, the, his friend was like, what girl? And then... He was like, I ain't never met nobody. I was talking on the panel one day, but he was never talking to Isha. He was just talking on the panel. He was like, I can't even tell you the girl name. He said, but I mean, if that's what she want to claim, you know, if that's what she want to claim, meeting somebody, I mean, to me, it's when I see you in person, you know, we shake hands and we introduce each other. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Blood, blood. Hey, question. You remember my old girl who I was fucking with in Fort Worth? Oh, Nigga, you know who I'm talking about. Hold on, hold up, hold up. You remember, hey, you remember who I'm talking about? <laughs> barely, but yeah, okay, barely, right? Have barely. you ever met this woman in your life, my nigga? No. Thank you. We don't what believe. The, hold up. First of all, Jay, let me. The, tell oh, you. oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesse, what you not gonna do? Let me tell you this, Jay. Don't believe his brothers, his homeboys, or none of that. No. Nah, hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. Bro, on Bloods, on Pyro, bro. I don't give what's a fuck. What's her name? What's her name, room. bro? What's her name? <laughs> no, I'm gonna just say this. His Thanks, friend, bro. his friends don't like what I do to him. So trust me, he's not. Right. He he gonna be hey, honest. He don't. He don't out. care. Hold on, I'm about to go to Andre now. <laughs> these motherfuckers don't want to believe me. And, don't and, believe his brother. Don't believe his brother, his sister. They're not going to gonna spare my feelings, oh, trust me. They're, they're, they're not going to spare my feelings. If he sees them, he's going to tell gonna me. He, don't, he, don't, he not going to spare bro, my feelings. Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up. Blood, do you have any reason to lie, bro? Stop, don't stop believe that shit, even, Jay. Right right no don't doubt. believe none of that shit. Don't believe none of that shit. They be calling their brothers. They be like, man. <laughs> They know what to say. They be already on Pyro or whatever the fuck you call that shit. I did. Oh, he did go back to the live, though, and they was on the live yeah. talking on the live. I know. I'm not saying don't believe him right now. I'm just saying, like, in future references, don't he believe really that brother never shit. Met this like, woman you see that bitch? Well, y'all can just ask her if he ever met him, them in person then. Ask her what, the, what, what, what they look like. What, no. what, what do you look like? This okay, my yeah, something like that, the... Jay. But look, something like that, Jay, but that all that brother shit and shit, I don't give a fuck. I, it's the mother. I don't believe the mother. You can't believe the mother. You hear me? Don't you believe the mother? Hold up, me, me. Shit. Hold up. The what? Back up they can hear your big mouth ass. Me, Let me tell you this. Don't believe me. the mother, sister, me. cousin, brother, or nothing. Me. None me. of that shit matter, but go ahead. Me. The girl yes. on the side bitch better have uh confirmation, like, yeah, well, tell me what his homeboy look like. You know, <laughs> Isha gonna show her receipts. You know, she good with that. If she, she ain't got if no receipts. She, if she got receipts, she gonna show my nigga. She like to prove herself. Me. Oh, I'm look, just I'm telling you, Jay, I'm look, we gonna make you, listen, when, that, when you 24, bitch, you gonna be so good at this shit. Let me tell you, don't believe her. Brother, sister, mother, cousin, I don't give a fuck about it. Oh, they are up, not hold receipt. Up, me. A hold up, is not a receipt. Hold up. A sister is not a receipt, but go ahead. Let me look, go look, look, look. I'm gonna go on mute, because you over here talking about a nigga is a receipt. Hell no, nah, nigga. We don't, we, we got real receipts. I I, listen, you not gonna call no nigga talk about, you it, 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 have you seen her? Uh, you listen, listen. Let them niggas. Hell no. We not I'm going to be real with you if you will let me talk. God damn. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you got me hype. You got me hype now. We all try to use y'all niggas as a receipt. Y'all try to use your. I was over here being very polished. I, well, she can't be the other one. use a nigga as a receipt. She going to use a homeboy as a receipt, my nigga. Hell no. Hell no. Me. You got to let me speak. Go ahead. I'm about to really expose some shit if you'll let me talk. I know, but ain't no homeboy gonna be my receipt on this motherfucker. I, he could be a Man, half Wait a, a minute. <laughs> what he look like? Put in the back chat, tell me what he look like, and then we could confirm. But Man, all that hold, shit with the nigga. What, what, hell hold no. up. No, hold don't up. Don't be putting no niggas on here talking about, hey, bro. Me. Hell no. Anyway, me. go ahead. Me. Triggered. 
triggered, <laughs> triggered. But go ahead, sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Let me calm down. Niggas be trying to use their homeboys as and see that, oh, that that's the shit I'll be talking about right there. All right, all right, all right I'm done. Never let me I'm speak. Done. I can bring out the I'm fucking done. truth. All right, all right. We going all My right. God damn, go. let a nigga speak. All right, I but not that. your homeboys, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Man, hell no, nah, cause my partners ain't never met that bitch. Well, oh, I God. don't give a fuck. We gotta use some type of other type of receipt on it. Like she gotta say yeah, what the nigga did, did you like. she all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Whew. Man, cause you yell at me. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This is not my problem. I got no fucking reason to lie. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Everybody calm down. Do we need to have a shh? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hello? You talking to your partner? Yeah, I was talking to my homeboy on the phone and while, I, while I was on the way home just picking up my food. But uh -huh. I did, I did not. Bro, I swear to God. Bro, okay, just just, here we go. Out. Bro, on blues, bro. Stop when yelling. I'm, I'm going to every time. Okay, talk. God damn. Cream was talking to my police officer friend. He should never met that nigga. They don't know nothing about that nigga. Cream stopped talking to the nigga because the nigga was so young. That's the motherfucking truth. She don't know nothing about my ace boo coon or my other partner. All right, all right, y'all. Hey, you guys, you guys, hold on. That's Come back. That's the fucking truth. Yeah. Okay, stop yelling. SD, you were doing good. SD, we were all doing good. We were all doing good. We're not going to do that. Calm down, guys. SD, as Mink, let him talk. Oh, that homeboy thing. This thing kept talking about, yeah, I'm with my home. <sighs> All right, you guys, can we come back? <sighs> Bored. Okay, sorry, guys. That might have been my PTSD. Are you guys ready? I'm sorry. We're done. Okay. Okay, well, you were going good, SD. SD, are we back? Are we we back? back? We him. All right, SD, I'm sorry I triggered you. You triggered me. We're not gonna go there, but okay, bud. It's your birthday. All right. Okay, so you guys, you know. So we're gonna get back back on track. Yeah. So the last question I asked that got us here was the fact that Isha said that she met your homeboys. Okay. And I did get I did get triggered. And, and I'm sorry. But Jade, I just want this to be a learning point, a learning curve here. You do ne you never believe the homeboys, sister, cousin, mother, or sisters, brothers, um, uncles. Like no family members or anyone associated to the man. Okay. But we're gonna go past that. We're we're over it, you know. I seen them in none of my fucking partners. Stop talking. Yeah, man, yeah. Man, yeah. We passed that question. Man, SD, I'm, we're I'm, over it. Okay, we got past that part. SD, SD, we're over that part. So we can easily, you know, you can easily exercise. Uh, the sideline, know your guideline type of chick like Isha, you can you can quiz her on things like that because I'm just gonna say that at this point, um, you can't believe everything a bitch says about your nigga. But all right, you also can't believe his homeboys. But so here at this moment, we're not gonna use any of your homeboys SD as receipts, just for you know, quality purposes, because this is a quality versus quantity environment. And we're not going to use your homeboys for receipts, but I respect the fact that on Pyru, the, um, your, your bro there, it probably is telling the truth, but we can't use that as a factual receipt. Okay. That won't, that won't stand up in court with your girlfriend. All right. So, but we'll, we'll, we'll say that we'll say that, but, but so Isha is now, but my point here is that Isha is now saying that she's met Esty's homeboys and his homeboys are saying that, saying that he, the homeboys don't like Jade. 
All right. So do, do, are you following me here, Jade? Do you have issues with his homeboys as far as uh, you know? No, I don't have any issues with them. They just don't like how I treat him. That's it. That's all. Yeah, of course. You're toxic. Um, But anyway, you're in your 20s. It's fine. Um, Next question would be, so how do you feel about, um, do, well, do you feel that Isha is being honest about the things that have transpired between her and SD? No, she's not being honest. She's just being, she's just trying to hurt somebody. You know, hurt people, hurt people, but she ain't hurting shit but herself and make herself look more and more like a hoe. That's it. But um, I'm not really bothered by it. Okay, so now these videos of SD, we, we, we have some videos of SD that Isha has um, posted. Um, would you like to address the videos? Um, I don't mind to. I don't want who. I don't want who. So, 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 what made you send the videos of SD? Okay, like I said early in the live, I sent the videos to hurt South Dallas. Every time something happened, or I get pissed off about something, or I'll try to like you know hurt his feelings. And I would do, if I see, if I'm doing something and it's pissing you off and I'm hurting your feelings, then I'm going to keep doing it. So every time he, he, he sit there and do the little shit that he do and show me like he, he pissed off by something that I did, I'm going to continue to do it. So that's all I was doing, you know, just sending him shit, doing shit to, to piss him off. That's it. That's all. So you were sending Isha videos to piss South Dallas off. Yeah. He didn't like that. So okay. that's why, that's why I would do it. Right. And so, then after a while, it kind of like played out. Like he didn't care no more. So like. Okay. So you would send him video. Okay. So there was a video where you was like, you can go back to Isha. That was, you remember yesterday when I, I think that was yesterday when I was speaking to you on the live and I was telling you about mm -hmm. like us first moving and stuff. And I was, mm -hmm. uh, I never said, oh, no, no. You're talking about the one on the bed. He was like, I'm going to send you back to Isha. He was like, no. Like was sending him back to Isha. Like I'm just gonna ask. Like to me, because I want I want you to say it on your own. But I just want to say that like was sending him back to Isha was that a a punishment? Um, <laughs> I was basically like. It wasn't a punishment, but, like, you was fucking with her at one point. So, like, you, you could go back to her now because, like, I don't want to be together. So... So that's Jane. what I was doing, and I was pissing him off doing sending that video that way he can like you know leave again and stuff like that. That that's why I was doing that. Okay, so in the video that she did, she also said that you were sending her um messages about you um cheating. Um, and I've I've never done that before, but I mean, hey, I've been toxic and but um I've never cheated on South Dallas. Okay, the whole so, three years that we've been together, even when we was friends for that whole year, I was even I was only like messing with him, and I feel like that's why I kind of like you know was feeling with him and fall, fell for him a little bit because that was the only person that I was communicating with, you know. Right, right, but so um in her in her response video to you, she said that um. She said that um, you were saying that you had another dude and you were letting her know this. You were telling all, all her business, all your business. So, um, no, anything I told to Isha, I've said on live. Right. So she was making. OK, so again, I have my own opinion and I'm just voicing my opinion about it. Like, okay, so she's, like, trying to let you know, like, okay, he's, he, he, he's had sex with me before. He's introducing me to his friends. And um, this thing where he's t telling, or she's telling you that, or, well, well, no, she put it, brought it to the internet that you um, were cheating on South Dallas. Do you think that was a slug um, to South Dallas, like? Hey, you could have had me, but your girlfriend's cheating. Here's the messages that she sent me. No, I was never cheating on South Dallas. Now, did you see that? Huh? Did you see those messages? Oh, uh, no, I didn't get to see those. Okay, so but she I was said never... that you, were, you were dealing with a guy and you were like ready to leave him. And... No, like I said, okay, so 
when me and South Dallas was working up for a month, as I said, we communicated, we talked to each other, you know, like, hey, we was doing this or this happened or that happened in within that month of us being broken up. Well, I was communicating with somebody like I was talking to somebody as a friend, but that was mm -hmm. a month, you know, within that month of me in South Dallas breaking up. Once we got back together and we confirmed, like, hey, we finna be in a relationship, we finna do this family thing again, that conversation, you know, that friendship that I had with that other person was dead. It was gone. Okay. So, during that time that you guys were, um, I guess, I don't want to say a break, but you guys were broken up. You Were you dating other guys? What did you see? No, I, I wasn't. I was talking to one other guy. I was only talking to this one person. And South Dallas know about this person. They have even talked over phone over the phone um, like once or twice. I think it was like twice. But they talked on the phone twice. But this was when we was broken up for that month. Soon as South Dallas came back in a picture and we decided that we were going to be together and stuff, that person has went away. Like the social medias, all that has been blocked and we stopped all that but when we came back i think i admitted to south dallas when we was in the parking lot at the mall i told him you know like hey i was talking to this other person and the type of person that south dallas is he have a lot of trust issues and different things like that so you know i showed him the picture of the person i let them know their name and different things like that of you know the person that i was talking to and you know with that with Within that month of us of of us being broken off, we okay because Isha said that you were trying to get rid of get rid of um South Dallas. Were you no? Okay. When I came back oh, in the picture that she showed, it says that. So she said that um you were trying to get rid of him. So I just wanted to address that part. Were you trying to get rid of South Dallas during that time that you were communicating with? East. If I want to get rid of South Dallas, I can get rid of South Dallas. When going back to the live that we had, I think it was last night, I told you about us going back and forth. We was going back and forth like, we're going to be together. We're not going to be together. We're going to be together. We're not going to be together. That was like the whole damn month of August damn near, I think. Right. And then we decided like at the end of August or like the beginning of October, hey, mm -hmm. we're going to do this thing together. We're going to get over, over all this past shit that went on and we're going to do it. When I came back in the picture in August, it came with a bunch of bullshit again. We had mm -hmm. just had our own issues and I'm coming back in the picture. Now it's a lot of hoes. These bitches don't know how to just let the shit go and let us do our thing. It became a lot of problems because I ended up arguing, you know, back and forth with Gigi over the phone. Okay. You know? And then... We was trying to do our thing, you know, but it was like women like Gigi called one time doing a little crazy thing, talking about that they were supposed to run a play and stuff in South Dallas was confused. Hell, I hell, I was confused because we was together for that for that week. It was just a lot of bullshit coming back in the picture dealing with the YouTube bitches. And it it was it wasn't even just Isha or Gigi. It was a lot of other women coming back, you know, because he was free. You know, we was broken up for a month. You know, this man has been tied down to this woman for so long, you know, get, getting out there, you know, getting a little breath, you know, breathing a little bit without a woman, you know, he was having fun. So coming back, I had a lot of bullshit to deal with. So sometimes, you know, I'd be like, I get pissed off about something. Then, you know, I'd be like, fuck it. I'm gonna move past that shit. We're gonna go, you know, we're gonna do it. And, and and that's what happened. It was like a, it was a lot of it was a lot of bullshit. So I was willing to deal with it in one minute. I wasn't. It was just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, women they're emotional. Right. They, they, they so have off emotions and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that that's what happened. And that last time after everything, you know, we just said fuck it, we're gonna rock out, even with all the bullshit that was coming towards, you know, my way with E shit with the slugs and all that shit. I still just say, you know, fuck them and put that bullshit aside because I know how women are. Women try to hurt other women, especially when they see that you have something good and they want what you got. They'll try to bring anything they can to break that shit down. Just like everybody keeps saying, he's over there getting his ass beat right now, you know, when they say something. No, that's not true. <laughs> he's right. So, so, okay. So this question is for you and as the so we can kind of get through the question. She got a question for you. So can y'all as the 
as Dean without, you know, we just be, we going, and I don't like that, leave a disclaimer, but this question is for both of you, okay? Because people want to hear from both of you. So, um, the issue of whether or not Isha was crying. I saw that you two had a debate about that, about Isha crying, about SD getting back with you. SD, did you want to talk about that? Or um, did both of you want to speak on that? Was Are y'all gonna let me talk? Don't yell. If you yell absolutely, on SD, this question is for you too. We we're not leaving you out. And you don't have to grab my phone. You can just talk. Man. Yep, you can relax. We're listening. They come up here on the bed and and, and talk. Now I'm eating shit. Y'all ain't gonna let me talk. Well, I do you know, know when I was talk. talking to him um on that Sunday when he was coming back because he was texting me here and there. I can talk for myself. And he'll call me. <laughs> I can talk for myself. I'm gonna let Sd talk. talk. Well, don't yell. Just talk. you don't have to hold. No, Sd, you can yell. You can let it out. I mean, Just they've been talk. playing with Thank you me. all week. You don't have to. Now yell. listen, man. Hush. Let me explain. Let him go. God damn. Let the truth be told. Go ahead, SD. Fuck. This is how it happened. This okay. Ain't no motherfucking lie. This okay. girl was cutting up all motherfucking Sunday. Uh huh. Cutting the fuck up. And I'm just like, where the fuck this shit came from? Because the shit came out of no motherfucker. It did come way. out of nowhere. Because Hush, let me talk. finish speaking. <laughs> let him I'm talk, Jay. I don't need nowhere. your agreement. Let me talk. She came out of nowhere with this shit. So I'm just like, God damn. Even while me and each and her children, we eating this shit. It just coming, 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 coming. So we go home. I mean, we go to each house. So we at each house and shit like that. And I'm starting to feel some type of way because she really coming, just coming at me type shit. So I sit up there and I put it in my mind. I start getting my shit. I had my whole bag and shit, right? Right. And I start putting my whole bag and shit together. So right. Isha had to go and pick up one of her kids, one, one of them. You know which one, the little girl. Man, man, I don't got to go into all that. Hush. Oh, was it the little boy? She... Man, hush. God damn. Okay. Let me speak. <laughs> Fuck. So <laughs> she had to go pick up one of her children. And I'm like, okay, well, you go ahead and go out. Go ahead and do that. And I was supposed to stay there, but I told her that I wasn't. I'm packing up. I'm about to leave. I'm about to go back over there. Now, I heard today how she tried to portray that shit. Like, okay. she was about to shoot me, and I'm about to shoot her. Uh -huh. This is what was said. I okay. told her this. I said, look, I got to go do what I got to fucking do. Mm -hmm. She walked up to me and started this fake-ass crying shit. And hugging me and shit. And I'm uh -huh. hugging her ass back. And I'm saying, bro, I, I got to do what I got to do. So I walked and got in my car. She got in her car. And she took off and left. I sat out there and I FaceTimed Jay. And Jay was asking where I was at. I lied to her and I told her I was in Lancaster at my partner house. Mm -hmm. I even sit up there and showed her the backdrop and she, but she couldn't see too much enough because it was nighttime. I did. I and I, at that point of time, that's when I the it. fuck off. You did. I and did. that was that. After that, I have not seen Isha to that motherfucking day. And that's on Pyro. Okay. So why do you think it is that... So you saying... Hold on. So you saying Isha is saying that as far as the shooting and no, she was saying that Jay was saying that she was going to shoot up your mom's house and everybody's house and stuff like that, because she's 22. Of course, we're going to shoot up the whole thing, but no, I, she was I saying mean. she was crying because I Jay wanted, was going to shoot up everyone. She right, was, hush, she, hush. No, that no, tell no, her what I was telling no, you. No, but. no, no, no. Cause you didn't say that at that day. She taking, see what Issa was doing was, she like to take things from one situation to another uh -huh. situation and combine mm -hmm. them situations. At this day, Jay never said nothing about this. She said she was going to whoop her ass in my ass. That's what she <laughs> was saying. Hold up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> she was saying that shit the whole fucking day. And I was just like, God damn, what the fuck is she on? Because in my mind, I'm like, man, you fucking with Buddy. 
Like what the fuck? Like what 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 is it? Like what 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 happened? What's going on? Type shit. That's what's going on through my motherfucking head. So boom, all that type of shit happened. And fuck, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm about to go back with my girl. Cause she my girl on 10 type shit. She acting a fool. She normally don't. She usually want, and I know y'all think Jay, she she like my damn counterpart. But now the way she was fucking acting, I was just, I just knew it in my mind. Like it was something else, like something else. And I was like, man, fuck that shit, man. It's let me let me let me take my bitch ass back home because I I'm 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 fucking up because this girl over here. Man, you over here fake ass crying and shit like that. And it then got the audacity to sit up here and say, like, I'm fucking lying about this shit. That's what you was fucking doing, Isha. You did do that shit. And you need to tell people the fucking truth. You need to tell people the fucking truth just like you sitting up there telling me to come back home and shit like that. It's boring and shit. I'm not making that fucking shit up. Why are you sitting up there? So oh, why was Isha telling you to come back home? Like, because I was once I left her, I was with my girl, and we had came back together. I was sitting up there. I ain't gonna lie. I was sitting up there, sitting up a little whoop ticket, selling her a dream, telling her this and that. No damn well, I wasn't going back. They're keeping her in my back pocket, type shit. You hear me? That's what the right. fuck I was doing, and I was just playing it the way it go, just based off of my girl shit. Because I was trying to really figure out like. Why the fuck you want me to come home all of a sudden like this and like that? That's what I was trying to fucking figure out. But I, at that point, I realized that Jade intentions was really true. But what I was feeding Isha was just fucking fake ass shit. It was dreams like a nigga would do. You know what I'm saying? Just let, let, let me keep you right here. Can I tell them what you told me when I asked you about it? When I man, tell them whatever, you. man. I'm trying so to when eat. I find when I when mm. I when everything finally came out with him and Isha. I mm -hmm. asked him, you know, because we was being honest about everything that happened. I asked him why he couldn't be honest and why he couldn't tell me that, you know, that he was still talking to her and shit like that. He was just telling me, well, Jay, you know, the situation with us and how, you know, we was doing the back and forth thing. I didn't know if, you know, it was going to come back down to it where you may leave again or something like that. So I was just, you know, just trying to keep her there just in case it came up because, like, can I tell them the weekend part? <laughs> anyway. Hell no. <laughs> anyway, Why you can't tell us that part? <laughs> hell no. <laughs> anyway, so it'll 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 um we'll it we were we was going back and forth, you know, and he felt like basically it might have came up to where, you know, we may be breaking up again or something like but that, but it never did. You know, we really went through okay. it. We did the thing. So, so as the, can I ask you, um, were you, um, did you have issues with, as far as your trust with Jade? Like, did you feel like she was going to leave you and you? You could be honest, babe. Now, it wasn't that I feel like she would leave me because I knew what mm -hmm. I stood. The problem was is that I didn't know what her fucking mind was at because some women, they get tempted by a little dumb ass shit and don't realize what they got until they lost it and think the grass is green on the other side and then they try to come the fuck back. So I got to fucking look at that shit in a certain type of way like, bitch, I don't trust you. I got to look at you like this and like that. Because you on some other fucking shit. Who you talking? You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking to you. I'm talking no, to you. No, let him me. talk. Who you talking about? You. You. Yeah, he's he's talking about you. Talk. But he's talking about how he felt like, like it don't like have your ass and shit like this. <laughs> These motherfuckers just don't know the truth. Yeah, I just right, don't put so my hands on women. So was it a point? Did, so it was a point that you didn't trust, like whether Jay was being true to you or not. So you was kind of like, of course. You know, Okay, so so you were like in a a place where you didn't try. Okay, no, let me just ask you this: If you were not with Jade, would you be with Isha? Be honest. Hell no, nah. I'm gonna tell you why. So if you oh. were not, let me repeat that one more time. So I believe if you, you were. Been hold with on, her. hold on. If you were not with Jade, as if if you were not with Jade, would you be with Isha? No. Okay. So I just want you to be honest about it. Like, and, and I don't, and, I don't listen. 
Let me explain something. I'm chewing right now, eating. This it's shit hurts. Irritate. It's fine. I don't like bitches with tramp stamps. That's number one. Okay. <sighs> I don't like bitches with certain type of prisons. Not saying that she got them, because I don't think she do. But oh. that does something about me that I have within myself. I don't deal with that. I don't like a bunch of women that's tatted up. I don't like that type of shit. That's me. All I right. fuck on the I fuck on the hoe. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But right. I don't like certain type of things because it I always be red flags as a hoe. And it never fails me. It never it never has. Wait, so can I just say, because um, what if the tram stamp is their only stamp and it's 18 years old? But just asking. Nah, they one 18 years old, though. <laughs> no, I'm just, oh, okay, because I was just wondering, not, I mean, just asking for a friend, but go ahead. Okay, but even for that friend, no disrespect, if you were young and dumb, it is what it is. But me, personally, I yeah. could never do it. And <laughs> it depends on what it also say and what it states. And that's all I'm going to go with it. At the end of the motherfucking well, day. It stands for good luck and achievement. Uh, well, if that. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's what it stands for. It, well, well. You it, made a mistake at the time. <laughs> I mean, tramp stamps are like. <laughs> Look. I, I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm just being real. All right. I, I don't. I don't fuck with you. We're this judging. Shit. Okay. But. Sorry. But you know. I, I'm not gonna wipe nothing up like that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, oh God, I don't say the chat. If me, if, look, 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 me. If me and Jay wasn't gonna be together, uh, hell no, it wasn't gonna be me and her. Cause whole goddamn time it was somebody mm -hmm. else who was a whole lot better, and I dropped mm -hmm. her ass, and she was a decent ass woman, and this ain't uh, no lie. That's why and, I kept and, saying, hush, hush, don't. You talk too fucking much. Okay, go. <laughs> Shut up. It's, it, it was a whole lot of other people. I'm telling you. Right. I, no, that was just something to experience. And once I experienced it, it wasn't even what that was. Like, man, I'm telling you, these niggas, don't get confused over YouTube, fellas. I'm telling y'all, you're right. going to hurt yourself. So, I'm, man, fuck. So, <laughs> so, Dallas, so, so, um, you said that if it wasn't J wait, wait, you guys, I don't mean to be rude, but we do have another victim of surviving Isha that wanted to hit the panel right quick. Um, and this won't be long. Hey, big Josh, how are you? What's going on? Big? I'm not a victim. I'm not here to bash Isha. I just heard I my name. Yeah. I respect to all the people involved in this matter, but, uh, I want right. to holler at SD for a second. If y'all don't mind. No, no problems. I can go mute SD. Do you mind? What's up, bro? All right. Oh shit! All right. So you said something earlier um, about like Isha was trying to make me jealous or something. You mind like explaining it? That little situation? Cause I don't remember nothing. You don't remember what? Like whatever she was trying to do, like to make the like I said, make me jealous or something. <clears throat> I ain't say she was trying to make you jealous. I said I was trying to make you jealous, nigga. I was coming for you. Because once I had found out after she told me that you were stalking me around on YouTube, I said, oh, yeah, I'm about to fuck the bitch that he really liked like that. And that was the night that we was in that hotel that she paid for, and we was on Transparent Talk Live. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I remember okay, that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You should go through it, right? Yeah, y'all was going back and forth and shit after I made her squirt all over the bed and shit. Yeah, that was that night. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I, I was in and out, so I thought this is what I heard. But let me just say this while I'm up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Again, respect to all, all the parties involved, man. But I see this an ongoing thing. Like, every time, you know what I'm saying, somebody start fucking with Isha, I become their number one enemy. You know what I'm saying? That made me start questioning a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. A lot of shit is being said about me or whatever. But I just want to say this one time. Respectfully to everybody, this ain't no beef shit, bro. Well, hold I mean, on, Josh. Before you go there, I told yeah. you what was said to you, nigga. I told you yeah, what yeah. was said. What was said to me as a fucking man. What was said to me, man to man, was that you was going around stalking me. Matter of fact, when I kept on, when I used to bring her up, especially on Polar Live, especially on my quote unquote intervention, and I first, <clears throat> and I first brought her up. <coughs> 
<coughs> excuse me. Uh, she ended up telling me, so, and you need to tell the truth, too, if you said this shit to her, blood. Did you tell her this? Oh, uh, so you talking to this nigga and this and that? Why he always bringing your name up and this, that, and the third? Because that was what was told to me. That's the reason why she was like, yeah, this nigga was stalking you around. Every pound of you was on, he bringing you up, talking about Isha this and Isha that. And I'm like, damn, that was Josh. I never thought about you like that because what we used to do on YouTube, we used to politic about Islam and the Israelite thing. That's it. That's all. I had no idea that you was the nigga who was stalking me down, running back to the Isha shit. Didn't know that shit. But is that right. true? Thank you. Yeah, let me clear that up real quick for like Isn't the fifth, fourth, for like the fourth fifth time. I didn't already explain this to him. All right, look at the time me and Isha was dealing with each other. It was two times where I asked her about you. It wasn't no snitching on you because I wasn't in a position to have to snitch on another nigga. You get what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, it was two times where I asked about you. The first time when I never knew you, like I never seen you in the YouTube space before, but I seen y'all in the action. So I'm like, damn, who is this nigga? And she told me who you was. She told me a little bit of your business. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. And it was dead on there. I never asked again. You know what I'm saying? She told me she didn't deal with you, whatever. Cool. All right, it's, it's whatever. I, ain't, I don't be tripping like that over shit like that. Cause I never seen her. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, I don't put myself in those type of situations. The second time was when, I, after she told me that, I hear you saying like you met her and asked Isha and this time. So I asked her again, like, what's going on with that? That's all it was, bro. The same shit you would probably do to your gal. The same shit a gal would probably do to a nigga is some shit sound fish at out of way. It wasn't no nigga stalking you because we be in the same motherfucking spaces. I was a moderator on your page when you were saying this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no stalking shit. See, that's what I be talking about. This little shit like that that make people think that I'm bothered and niggas end up coming to me and this, and this shit weird. Like, I don't mind scratching. Like, we can scratch on some personal shit, but stop scratching at me. Stop scratching. This go for anybody. But stop scratching with me thinking that you gotta do some shit for Isha, bro. This, this ain't that. For real, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely happy where I'm at and I'm peaceful where I'm at. For real. Well, 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 I understand, well, 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 but hold up, SD. I understand what Josh is saying. Like, somebody's saying, like, okay, maybe I asked you a question about somebody based off of what you told me about a person, but then you go relay it to the person like I'm stalking the person. So, now, you, SD, is thinking some, some type of way about Josh, and Josh ain't really thinking that way about you, but the reason But you know why, what, though? You know what? I never yeah. came in blood like a whole head nigga. I just okay. did what I did, like what a nigga do. Like, okay, you gonna come at me some type of way you doing this and trying to check for a bitch type shit, then I just fuck you, bitch. That's it, that's all. But it wasn't my what group. I did. They were they, they were they were my gal, but look, check this out because I ain't gonna but get my nigga, But my nigga, but see, I ain't gonna go into that. I ain't gonna go into that shit. But all right, bro. All right. But, but, but look, 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 see, this is the misconception, man. Cause I know, look, I'm King Simp. I understand it. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of females, like my baby know, my baby know I'm serious with her. But a lot of females take my simp, my like she like she she didn't not she's not the only person that got that type of attention. So I ain't fucked up about if she gave that type of attention to another nigga. Like that wasn't my MO. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to figure her out. And when I figured it out, I said, you know what I'm saying, we not on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Let's go our separate ways. I left this situation, fam. I don't know how many times respectfully respectfully because she put me in position to have to pop my shit because she don't stop niggas from popping that shit on me so i have to say what the fuck i gotta say for my name you know what i'm saying so respectfully mm -hmm. i left that situation that situation okay. did not lose me and i never ever tried respectfully she as a, as a friend i be trying to be her friend you know what i'm saying but also i never tried to go back there you know what I'm saying? I'm good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and like even with you, even throughout all that shit, nigga, I was still like I was telling her, bro, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? My whole thing was I ain't want her in her other relationship. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as long as you moving forward, nigga, I respect that your mindset, whatever the case may be. I ain't know nothing about Jay, but I like SD sound like a stand up nigga. You know what I'm saying? He a little weird at times, but he a stand up nigga. As long as you ain't moving backwards, nigga, it, it is what it is. As a friend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know it ain't like a nigga still this, bro. I'm look, I'm the type of nigga. I, I just want to clear my name. I'm the type of nigga. If I break up with a female, stop fucking with a female, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna try to still be cool with you, especially if we're gonna share the same spaces. So just in case man, just cause y'all see me with a wrench, just cause y'all see me still rooting her on, their support is a friend, bro. There ain't no nigga that's that miss anybody. That ain't none of that, fam. Salute to Isha. She a dope individual, she a good friend. But all that extra shit, bro, it ain't it over here. For real, for me. And I just want to clear my name, bro, because I ain't have a lot of shit on my name till I start fucking with her. 
And I told you, respectfully to Isha again, I told you on that, that same night on TT Pound, I told you, nigga, be careful. You did. You. you did. You did. Right. And you know what? And I, I got to give it to you, Josh, on that shit. That was some real shit that you said. You did. You absolutely right. You told me to be careful. And you know what? I'm going to be honest. I won't oh. drop no names, but you ain't the only one who told me that shit. Motherfucker, she fuck with even told me that. Huh. To this day. To this day. Told me that. So you are absolutely right. But that's, so that's all I want to say, man. Man, look, man, that's all I want to say, man. Look, again, respectfully to Isha, I ain't never trying to bash you or nothing. Like I said, like, you put me in a situation where I have to speak on my name because you know how I give a fuck about my name. You know how I care about my name. And certain shit wasn't being said about me until you start letting people that's beside you run with certain narrative. So I got to clear my name this one last time. Shout out to my baby right there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, my salute to SD, my salute to Jade. Congratulations. Have a birthday. Salute, mate, man. It was dope. It was a classic. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Right. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, um, CB, for coming through. <laughs> um, so I didn't want to get too off topic, but that was pretty good. I think you guys are pretty okay. Um, nobody wants, you know, people to have, um, you know, misunderstandings about dumb shit. That's people get killed over dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and misunderstandings can go really, really far without being cleared up. So. It's good that you guys were able to clear that up. Um, but um, let me let me see if I had any other questions for SD at least. Um, what about trap, SD? No, I don't know about to give a fuck what, about that. What, what about what about him? What's going on with trap? Like she's trap, saying that you're trap. mad about trap. Isha is saying that you're mad about trap. Trap seems like he's getting a little spicy, and then you getting a little, you know. Yeah. All right. Let me, let, me, let me say this. This is the thing about it. The night that me and Isha got into it was, uh -huh. our, was our behind trap. See, yeah, people sit up here and keep, like, people on their side, of course, her little fans and shit, they sit up there mm -hmm. and say, well, SD said your name. You motherfucking right I said her name. But Trap was fucking insinuating your ass the whole motherfucking time like I'm stupid, like I'm some type of duck-ass nigga. I know mm. what the fuck he was talking about. That's why I kept asking him, man, stop, bro. Stop, bro, stop. So Trap kept going with this messy shit. I don't know where he was going with it, but I guess he wanted this to happen. Her big goof ass come up in this bitch talking about. So what was said about me? That little bitch, he pop up, and he sit up there and say, SD was talking about. No, 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 no. no. Wait. Everybody was quiet for the second because they. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, first, when Isha popped in, Isha sit up there and she said, She said, So, who was talking about me? Now, me being who I am, I'm waiting on everybody else to say something. Nobody said shit. And this is the reason why Gigi sit up there and say, And this is the only thing I agree with her on with her line is. But this is the only thing she always sit up there and say, SD. Nobody really got your back on YouTube. You always be long by your motherfucking self behind besides this crazy ass girl over here. She always said that shit, and that shit be the absolute truth. Because that night, I was quiet when she asked that question. Nobody said nothing. Then Trap come out talking about SD said it, SD said it. Now listen, it's one thing about trolling, it's another thing about being truthful and honest and shit like this. This boy sound like a whole bitch talking about I said it. When he was the one bringing it up, so she started questioning me. So my girl felt some type of way, like, don't be questioning her man. And that's how mm. all the shit started. So mm. that nigga sitting up here trying to make it out like I'm mad. He tried to make it out like he took my bitch. No, sir, I got the receipts. And you got them too, me. That no, nigga, mm. I left that bitch. You didn't take a goddamn thing from me, sir. Not at all. You can, I swear to God, nigga, you, I, I'm passing it on to you, nigga. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't. You can have that, nigga. You will be the goddamn fool. That's you. I don't give a fuck about that shit. What you're not going to do is try to come on this YouTube app and try to play me like you some bigger player than me, bitch. What the fuck, nigga? If only you fucking knew. A lot of these hoes go around on YouTube bapping and shit like that. You don't know who the fuck be on my dick like that, though. These bitches be bombs in real life. 
bummy as fuck. They just leeching and want a nigga to fucking take care of them and take them there and do this and do that. No, bitch. All you can get is maybe a little, a little stiff dick. Maybe a little stiff dick. Hell, you might, yeah, hell, you might even get a little soft if that shit. The fuck, hell, bitch, suck my dick. Fuck, and that's real shit. Because these niggas on this bitch, man, it, it, it's issues with them as well. But Trap got out his body with that shit. That shit pissed me off. That pissed me off, and that's why I told Isha. I said, Isha, you gonna really believe this nigga? You don't know that nigga like that. And she really ran with that shit like a goofy. She, man, I don't give a fuck. She ran with that shit like a fucking goofy. Fucked me up. And then want to start beefing with my girl and shit like that. Like she ain't supposed to sit up there and check your ass for questioning me when when it's obvious. 88 even sit up there and after that shit and told you Trap started. And you no, still she kept. She yes, she did. And you later, I said that. She hush. She and she, and she, and she, and she. And I didn't like what 88 did, and me and 88 addressed this shit. And she she know where it's at now. Now, but what I'm saying right here today is that Isha was wrong for what she did because Trap started all this shit like the messy-ass bitch that he is. He started that shit. He started that weird-ass shit. He the one who came for me originally. The original reason why me and Trap Start getting into it because Trap started hating on me when I was fucking with Polar and doing all that shit. One time I was either on my live or on somebody else's live because I used to be on everybody fucking live back then. And mm -hmm. that bitch had nigga, he had this fake ass watch that was up in his pick and I got on his ass about it because he kept on fucking coming for me. At that time, I didn't understand what trolling was. You understand? So everything yeah. pissed me off. So I sit up there and I sit up there and start getting on this bitch ass about that fake ass watch. And from there, that's when it been up for me for me and him. It was never over no motherfucking Isha. Because I dropped that hoe. And you can ask her that. I left that bitch and never came back, nigga. She, okay. she, she, she what the fuck? She sitting up there telling me to come home, nigga. What? Okay, so let's address the come home because some people... Um, where is your home, SD? My home is where I met with my girl, with my family. Okay, so can you explain? Um, because you would, okay, so let's just um address that part. Who these people draw? Y'all, my journey, my life. This is SD, me, SD. Um, so it says, no, I don't want to hear you out. So this is from Isha to you. Can you guys see this? Just gonna, girl. My journey, my life. You would love them, girl. This is SD and Jade. So, I gotta. Damn, I gotta catch, girl. I wish my journey, my life would have came here at the beginning because she would have been, girl. Shout out to my journey, my life. That's our girl. But um, so this That's is from Isha to Jade, right? I mean, Isha to uh, uh, SD, right? The blue is Isha. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I don't want happen. to hear you out I need to hear you So this would be right along with the other bush All I'm going to say is I'm done with you And stop playing with her Just fuck it and hang up Okay I'm done okay Oh that's after this shit happened She sent me the screenshots and shit and That's when everything came out So what with, that when I was telling her stop fucking with you That's when, every, yeah, that, that's when everything had came out when she sent me the screenshots and shit, and that's when I found out that they were still, you know, communicating and stuff mm -hmm. without me knowing. So once I found out about everything, that's when he was like, okay. Hold on, let me read it out loud, y'all, so people can hear it. So this is, um, because I hate when people do that to me, so let me just go ahead. I'm going to read it out loud real quick, y'all. It says, oh, damn, I got to get back to the, hold on, I might be able to just read it right here. Get who talking to who now? Hold on. Where am I at? Am I here? Like, where am I? Okay, no, I don't want to hear you out. This is Isha. Okay, so it says, no, I don't want to hear you out. Um, I need to, I need to, wait, I need, I need to hear it now. So this will be right along with the other bullshit. I don't. Okay, so and then um, SD is saying, 
All I'm going to say is I'm done with you and stop playing with her. Just say, fuck it and hang up. And then Isha says, okay, I'm done. As D says, okay. Isha says, I'm not playing any more games. As D is saying, okay. So basically Isha is saying she doesn't want to hear him out. Then he's saying, I'm just saying, you know, be done with it. Stop playing with her. When you say stop playing with her, are you talking about Jay? Bay, this for you. I'm in the blue. No, you, she, read the fucking things. You act like you can't see. Man, fuck you. No, you, you no, 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 no. Hold up. You ain't got to read it. What I'm saying is we got Isha is in the blue. So everybody can understand. I would say stop playing. Well, I'm talking about my girl. And I, I'm letting the fucking be known to until to stop playing with Jade. Right. Okay. So this. Okay. So stop playing. And I with told her to say fuck it and hang the fuck up. Leave the shit alone because I didn't want this shit to keep spilling over and for them to keep beefing. But at the end of the day, I know where I'm at. I'm where I'm at. God damn, it ain't hard. To, it, it is what it is. Okay. So um, as the people want to know, um. Because Isha was saying that she, when she was dealing with you, she was in a vulnerable place. Do you feel like she was in a vulnerable place? If she was vulnerable, I don't know why. Okay. I don't, I don't know why. Um. So do you think, so you don't, okay, so she's saying she was vulnerable. That's why she was dealing with you. Um. I, I don't, I don't know why. She, <laughs> if, she, if she was, then fuck. I, that fuck, I don't know why. Okay, so now... Um, was Isha begging you? Like, you was mean? there a point that was there a point that Isha was calling you crying and begging, or um, when you and Jay got back together? Nah, she didn't call. She was texting me. Okay, because <laughs> she is saying um, that you were calling, crying. Were you ever calling? Was there a point in time that you or Isha was you Isha or Jay was calling one other? Uh, like a, another part of the parties, um, crying. Nobody, nobody called, nobody crying and begging or nothing. The only thing is that that during that one little week, the little span while well, me and her was still talking on messenger and shit like that, because I had her blocked in my phone. No, nah, you had a, at first you I was on the phone texting. Then I wanted you to block her. Because you remember, I, I have your password, and I go in there, here and there, and then she wasn't blocked, so I had you to block her. Because you was texting from the phone, and for then I, she, you blocked her. That's when y'all went to the messenger. Okay. And that's when y'all started talking on messenger. Okay. So at first it was on the phone, then it went to messenger. Okay, so the thing is, is this, is that we was talking on the messenger, and she would sit up there, and she was basically begging did you send the receipts? I, I sent her those. You sent it to me? Yes, I probably have it. I was just trying to figure out. Yeah, was yeah. She was begging because, um, and people need to see that type of shit because the fuck I want, I want fucking begging her ass. So I don't even know why she even thinks she's some type of woman like that. Like it, yeah, she's not. Bitch, you're not hot. Like at all, bro. Okay, so what does she mean when she says that Chad? I'm just straggling around. I don't know what the fuck that yeah, means. Why are you man? acting dumb? Basically, like you you over here feeding the bitch with lies. She's over there just straggling around. Wait, your wait, bitch wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me read it. Let me read it. Let me, let me read it. Yeah, okay, so it says Isha says, um, Chad, I'm just stra straggling around. I think that's what she's saying is straggling around. No, the fuck you ain't. I love you. So we're going to address this I love you thing, okay? So, no, the fuck you ain't. I love you. The fuck? Shut the fuck up. You letting people gas you up now, um, but it's cool. I knew it was coming. Isha says, you don't love me. You just telling me shit. Okay, so you don't love me. You just telling me shit. I'm not letting people do anything. Um, And then, let me move the comment. I'm sorry. So you don't love me, you just telling me shit. Um, where you don't love me, you just telling me shit. I'm not let, letting people do anything. Chad, uh, Chad says, I honestly do. 
you meant you meant the world. <laughs> you meant the world to me when we was all together. <laughs> 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 you meant the world to me when we were out together. I just need to fix this shit here um, because motherfuckers is jealous. I'm not, wait a minute, I'm just playing the game. You know, my heart is with you. You, um, but you got motherfuckers in your ear. Like, I'm embarrassing you. Yeah. So, um... what was that about? What was that about, SD? I ain't gonna go about who the motherfuckers is, cause that that's on some other shit. But mm -hmm. what did you mean? Let's let's just go in. Let's go at the beginning, okay? She's talking about she just straggling around. Do you know what she meant? Now reading reading it in context, do you know what Isha um meant? Yeah, 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 yeah. She basically was just basically just hanging around type shit waiting on me to do what the fuck I do type shit like just on some on so some was she waiting for you to leave waiting Jane? for me yes that, and that's exactly okay. what it is now listen hold up let me clear something else up about the I love you okay the first time anybody said something about some love you was her ass now listen peep this shit uh -huh. she sit up here and she basically was like on some I feel some type of way about you shit. And I was like, so what you trying to say? Like, you love me or something like that? And she was like, yeah, that's how that shit happened. I, I swear to God, I can't make this shit up. And then okay. the night that I left her ass, and she was talking about, I could look you in your eyes. I could tell you about to do something. You about to do something. I love you and this, this, and that. She said it again. I'm not making this shit up. She said okay. that shit first. All so, right. The big so, player and all that shit. That, that's what she was on. Okay. So you're saying that Isha told you I loved you. What did how did you feel when Isha told you I loved you? Like when when she said I love you, like what was your feelings at that moment? At that moment, I didn't have no like you gotta understand. I'm a nigga. No, I mean like what was your feelings? Like, okay, you met this girl off of you. Did you you met Isha off YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay, so you you had this girl that you met off of YouTube, and she's now saying that she loves you. Okay, mm -hmm. so what is your feeling as a man knowing that you have a girlfriend? What are you thinking at that moment when Isha says, "I love you"? Uh, I, to be honest, I really didn't have no thought about it. It wasn't. It didn't mean shit. It didn't mean shit to me. Like. It just didn't mean shit to me. Like it wasn't like yeah, I didn't I didn't think in my head like this goof ass bitch or like yeah, I really love this girl type shit. Like it wasn't none of it just in my mind just like whatever, like whatever bitch, you can say whatever the fuck you wanna say. It, it don't move me. Don't, words like that don't move me. It just don't. It just don't. It's just like whatever. I didn't have no feelings. I ain't have no real thought about this shit. Like at all, like I just didn't. Okay, cause uh, some people, some people, when you say I love you, like it's like a big step, or some people, it's just like you say I love you to everybody. Mm -hmm. To everybody. Do you, well, well, do you say SD? Do you tell everybody that you love them? No, nah, but I will say this shit though. I tell the bitch what she want to hear. <laughs> I'm a nigga nigga. I'm telling y'all, I'm a nigga nigga. I'm a Dallas nigga. We the worst type of nigga. I tell you whatever the fuck you want to hear. Whatever the fuck a uh, big your head up or whatever just to make some shit die down or get whatever the fuck I need or want out of the situation. Yeah, I'm gonna give you what the fuck you want to hear. So and what did you what did you want? What did you want out of this situation with Isha? I wanted her to fucking just chill the fuck out. Stop, stop, leave my girl alone. And just play the back, just play the back, just play the back seat. That's what I wanted her to do at that time. Just play the back seat. Just chill out. Let me see what I got going on over here. If it's official, hey, I, I would have let her know, like, nah, I ain't coming back. I'm about to work this shit out over here. She wouldn't even let this shit even pan the fuck out because she kept doing what she was doing on YouTube, making my girl mad, and then it just was just... Just it went from there. She just all she had to do just to sit back in that back seat, put that seatbelt on, strap on tight, and just let me handle this shit. 
But hell no, she couldn't but, do that. So, what exactly were you handling? I was trying to see what was going on over here with me and my girl. I, that, that came first. That came first before her. That came first. Because at the end of the day, she was just something on the side. You know what I'm saying? I, mm. th th you got to understand, I had to handle what I had to handle, square business. What do you have to handle? What was going on between me and you, nigga? Fuck you laughing for shit. You know what it is. I had to handle that shit. Make sure my main course was good. You hear me? Mm. And now, 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 the side of trade, you know, I'm going to push them to the motherfucking side. I got to deal with this. I got to eat on this shit. So all that other shit, that shit didn't mean shit to me. Hell, I had to fix that and did, but she couldn't, she couldn't, she couldn't deal with that shit. Hell, like, it, and it's obvious. Right. So, okay. So the next set of messages is, um, Isha, uh, is saying that you too busy to speak to me. And then SD is saying, no, I'm just in my feelings. I, I'm not trying to make you feel stupid or look stupid. You know what it is. I love you for real, for real. I just hate how motherfuckers got you thinking that. Wait, here go that text. This must be a Dallas thing. I hate how motherfuckers got you thinking this and that. <laughs> And it's not true. You know my situation. I won't be longer. I love you. You bae, and I miss you so much. Yeah. And Isha says, hold on. Isha says, why are you in your feelings? Nobody been telling me anything. It's what I see, Chad. I love you too, but I know that it will be a while. I miss you a lot. Please stop saying that it's other people and I see you doing the most. <clears throat> so um Isha starts it out by saying that you too busy to speak to me. Um and then you go into saying that you're just into your feelings and that you know it's gonna be a while and it won't be much longer. So is this not it won't be much, sorry, is this, it won't be much longer, is that saying that it won't be much longer, like, Isha, I'm going to be leaving my girlfriend soon, and it won't be much longer, and I love you, and you know you're my baby, and I miss you, is that, like, what was that about? I was just playing the game the way it go, just keeping something in my back pocket type shit, you hear me? Like, look. So, were you giving her the, uh, were you giving her the, um, like, what were you basically trying to make, or were you making her feel like you were going to be leaving your girlfriend? Yeah, I sure was. Yeah. Okay. And then she was saying that she was willing for you to wait to leave to your girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Did you have any intentions on leaving your girlfriend? No. Okay. So, oh, okay. So, all right. So, yeah. Okay, so you were just, so you were just, thank you, Brashe, for the super chat, girl. Thank you. Brashe sent two, two super chats. Thank you, Brashe, girl. Um, so you, so what were your intentions then? If you didn't have plans on leaving your girlfriend, like, why were you sending um, Isha the messages saying that you, it would just be a little while longer? Uh, what was I, like what I said, really I want, like, what were your what were your true intentions behind your messages? Uh, cause I wanted to keep uh uh each in my back pocket, just in case, you know what I'm saying. You know, just to have something to fuck on and something like that. You know what I'm saying. You know, here and there, this and this and that. You know, some different because I ain't know what me and Jay saying. Cause when I'm with Jay, I can't cheat. You understand? Like, I just can't do this shit. And if anybody who really followed me and fucked with me on YouTube before me and her broke up, mm -hmm. it wasn't none of that type of shit with me. I I didn't flirt, didn't do none of that type of shit. Isha was the only person I had talked to, and me and her conversation to be petty as fuck. We won't never talk about shit. It was until that July when me and her broke up. When me and her broke up, that's when I started that simping shit. I started that city boy shit and all that type of bullshit. Because I was running fucking wild, having fun in real life and on YouTube. That's what I was doing. 
I was having fucking fun. So I have a question. Okay, so when Isha did it, she did an interview with Cream yesterday, and she was saying that she felt like you were like. So two things that I I I, I found in common um, with Jay and also with Isha was that they both felt like you were their friends. Like Wait, you felt so like you guys had a friendship. Wait, in the beginning, that you, started, you started out as friends. So Jay, uh, EJ, when she started out t tonight, she said that, you know, we was like real cool. Like he was like my friend. And then that's also the same thing that Isha said. She felt like you were her friend. So do you think, um, like, do you think you had a, a friendship with Isha um, or, you know, like what, what was that? Why do you why do you feel like she feels like you were her her best friend? In the in the beginning with me and Isha, okay, first of all, when me and Isha, when she say I've been knowing him for a year type shit, let me let me let me add some clarity to this. I did know her for a year. Me and Isha was cool. We was friends. We didn't talk about nothing about each other, no real shit. Like it wasn't nothing too much like that. It was mainly just about YouTube, shit like that. Like, especially our conversations over the phone and shit like that. It wasn't nothing like that. And then here and there, it'll be something where she'll be like, yeah, I listen to your live. I see you with your girl and stuff like that. And usually the response I give her, I just start laughing about the shit or something like that. And that's how the shit will fucking go. It wasn't nothing else like on no serious shit. The shit, like I said, you know what? Now I gotta come out with this shit, and I'm a gotta be all the way honest. The reason why me and Isha, the reason why I felt like she started really talking to me like that, like just really fucking with me, was behind Gigi because she didn't she didn't know nothing about Jade or nothing. See, when I was talking to Gigi on and shit like that. And Gigi know, and if Gigi listening, she can, she can vouch for this type of shit because I used to tell her this. See, Isha will sit up there and she'll be on some shit where oh, she'll be like, so who your girlfriend in Oklahoma? Who you fucking with in Oklahoma and shit like that? And I would never say a goddamn thing about it. But then, you know, it, she put two and two together and figure out shit like this and like that. And plus because of other people will tell her different things behind my fucking back. They'll go and tell her different things. And that's how I got out there. When I was talking to Gigi, just talking to Gigi, she started really pressing and doing weird ass shit that she had never done before. And, you know, just saying a lot of different shit towards me, saying how I hurt her feelings, saying what she want to do and this, this, and that. And at that time, I was sick. I was sick because I was dealing with Blood pressure issues and anxiety. I was I was going through it back then because I I wasn't healthy at that time, and it was just so much fucking going on where I was just like, what the fuck? Why in the fuck she acting like this and like that? So you know when Gigi started acting the way she was acting, I left that situation and I started fucking with her, and that was that. I mean that was that shit. That's that in a nutshell. Y'all fucking with each other the whole year, or was it? How was that? What you mean, fucking with each other the whole year? Like conversating, like was it an everyday thing? No, nah, it wasn't no everyday thing. It was like this. It was here and there. Me and her didn't talk consistently. It was never consistent. When it started getting consistently between me and her was in the month of fucking July. Okay. That was the same month that I met them at the Bowden Alley. All that shit took place because I didn't have no motherfucking woman. Okay. okay. That's when it happened. She also said in Cream's live that it was like in August that she met her. So what when we oh. say when we when we think of a month, we think of thirty days. Could it have been a little more than a month? No, this was in June. No, no. The, okay, you gotta understand. Was me and my girl into this shit, and we went through what we went through in July. I talked to Gigi for a few weeks. And then after that, I talked to Isha. Now you talked to a few months for other motherfuckers too. We're not gonna say that name. Man, I, we talking about the conversation subjects name. at hand. But I mean, it, yeah, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, everybody else don't matter right now. We talking about the subjects at hand, the subject at hand, which is Isha. I I didn't talk to her that long in July. Okay. 
Okay, so so you knew Isha before y'all broke up. You had a girlfriend, then y'all broke up. Then you ended up having sex with Isha. Okay, all right. So, well, the first time y'all met up, Isha, Isha, you saying that Isha sucked your dick in a car? No, not the first time. The first time I met up with Isha, we went out to eat. The second time I met up, uh, no, the first time I met up with Isha, I met up with her in downtown, in downtown with my partners. And I left them and I met up with her. After that, we went out to eat. After that, that's when that little petty shit went down where she sucked my dick. But it was that next time where I actually had sex with her when she got that hotel and we had sex. And that's when we was on Transparent Talk Live and we were talking to Josh and et cetera. That was the first time that I really had sex with her and it really went down. And her baby daddy was blowing up my phone block. Like, all type of weird shit. Like, weird shit. And I'm like... And, and that, that's another thing that how I knew they gave me red flags about her. Because I knew I knew, I knew, knew it wasn't her. And when I say her, I'm talking about Jay, my girl. I knew it wasn't her calling my ass. I'm just sitting mm -hmm. up here like, who the fuck is calling me block over and over and over? It Wait, took but, the, her baby daddy was calling your phone? Yes, he was calling my phone. Whoa, yeah, whoa, and it was, the, whoa, it, was whoa. it was the it was the next morning or or on the phone conversation when she was on her way back home when she fucking told me that type of shit. And now you gotta understand at this time I'm thinking in my head like these some dangerous games type shit because I I Wait, didn't even know that her baby daddy called your phone. She she claimed that he knew somebody who could tap him. Some stupid ass shit. Like, I don't know how the fuck blood really got my number, but this is what, I, I, I'm not lying. This is what she told me, that he had some type of way of doing something or knew somebody, some weirdo shit like that. But in my head, I'm being vigilant at this point where I'm thinking like, okay, these dangerous games, because I know niggas be out here busting brain over pussy. I don't want the nigga to kill me when blood, I didn't even, I, bro, I thought, the way she portrayed a picture about him was not for him. The, the way he was doing, I, I, at that point, I realized, so I said, happened, you know what? What happened when the baby daddy called your phone? Like, what did you I, do? I never picked up the phone. I never would pick well, it how up. How did you know it was the baby daddy? Because she ended up telling me. She told me. Because when we was there, her phone kept blowing up as well. So her phone blowing up and then your phone stopped blowing up and it wasn't Jade. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it wasn't Jade. It was her baby. Daddy. And she told me it was him. And that's when she gave me that little story about, oh, it's some, some other fucking shit type of shit. So that's why I was just like, okay. And you know, of course, me being who I am, I'm a, I'm a girl here to just be like, okay. But in the back of my head, I'm like, hell no, that ain't what the fuck going on. Like, like to be all honest with you, I'm thinking in my heart, like this real shit in my head and my heart. Man, I hope you ain't fucking like cheating on this type of nigga with me type shit. And this nigga and this nigga sit up here and he wants some smoke with me or try to kill me or some shit like that. When bro, I don't know even know nothing about you. All I know is what the woman has said. I don't know nothing about you, but I never had no words with the man, no nothing like that. Never had no words, no none of that type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him from a can of paint. Don't even know what blood look like. Okay, I, well, you know people are going to go, you know, they're going to come back to this um, SD. So, so when you say come kill me then, when it comes to a baby daddy, you don't really mean like come kill me then over some pussy, right? Hell, no, nah, not over no pussy because guess right. what? Guess what? Let me tell you something. There's plenty of pussies out here. I wouldn't kill a nigga over no goddamn coochie. That's stupid. <laughs> Okay, I would, I would never, never, and this girl know that because even when that boy who she was talking to in that month, who hit up who phone? Okay, but that's what I'm saying. Who hit up who phone? Okay, so wait, wait, Jay. Hell, fuck hell, now I, I don't. Hold on, Mick. Let me get this shit out. Okay. I don't play them type of games. Say, listen. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I play the side nigga before I do some shit like that. I do not do that shit. I will not kill no man over no motherfucking coochie. It ain't worth it. There's too many women. I hear more of y'all than it is us. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill a nigga. 
the fuck hell okay <laughs> i went half wait. fun with that i just oh, go find a battle wait. bitch or something That's wait it. so hold on the guy that you talking about jade now and i hate to bring up really bad wounds but when you talking about a guy because isha brought up a guy that jade was maybe when you guys were off maybe jade told isha to try so she could tell you to make you mad like jade what was that about what is he talking about um, she's talking about somebody that I was talking to when um me and South Dallas had broken up, but I mean South Dallas already knew about all of this, so this is nothing new to him. So did you tell why did what made you tell Isha that? Well, we were talking, like I'm letting her know, like I was dealing with somebody, you know, at this time, like I never gave a fuck about what you and him had going, and I'm just letting her know, like, bitch, I, I, I I'm not pressed about you, never was. You know, because okay. at that time I was doing my own thing, you know, and he was doing whatever he was doing, you know, whatever he did is what he did because, you know, we were breaking, broken up at this time. Okay. And that was it. That was all. Okay. Cause she was trying to, I mean, I don't know, like, I, in, in my opinion, and I hate to be biased because I don't like Isha, but I know how people like her are, but in, in my opinion, if I was just analyzing what she was saying, it was trying to almost say, like, see, he was, she was cheating on you, South Dallas. Like, she was, she was on. definitely trying to break us up. And this is how I knew because when we was on the phone, we was conversating. I'm clearing up the lies that she, what well, the shit that he, that she claimed he told her. So I'm basically like clearing that up to her. And every time I'm talking to her, and I'll pause, she'll say something like, well, he did this, or, you know, she's throwing shit at me, basically, like, what happened between them and her, and I'm like, oh, okay, oh, okay, whole time, I didn't think about it till later when we got off the phone, like, this bitch just saying shit to me to piss me off about it, she not really just here to hear what mm -hmm. I have to say um, mm -hmm. about the lies that was, you know, the shit that, that was said, so when I got off the phone, South Dallas called me and I was talking to him. And when I'm talking to him, he telling me shit that Isha said. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, when I got home, I, I, I'm in, I'm in the middle of work. You know, I had, I just got into the office. So when I get off of work, you know, and I'm, I'm coming home and I'm like, well, babe, as I think about the situation, she wasn't there to like really listen to like, you know, hear me, you know, clear this shit up. This bitch was trying to break us off because why is she telling you this? And why is she telling me this? This bitch thought that she was going to break something off. And I said, another reason why I think that is because she hit my phone while I'm in the middle of work. And I look at my Apple watch and I see her saying, can I talk to you woman and woman? So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we, we can do it. We can talk. So when I hit her up, she, I told her time I got off. I'll call her around whatever time. I called her. She was busy, you know, doing whatever she was doing. So I just let it go. She ended up hitting me back. And she was like, well, are you going to be with South Dallas and stuff like that? Like, what are you doing? Are you planning on breaking up with him? Why do you give a fuck? And I was like, no. We yeah, ask you. Here. Wait, so she was asking you if you was going to break up with your nigga. Yeah, that's what she asked me. And in my mind, I'm like, why do you give a fuck? But I was like, you know, I just said, well, no. Nah. I said, man, stop down. It's good. You know, we we cool. You know, I said, we was laughing in the shower and stuff this morning before I went to work. I said, we good over here. It's just, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, cl clear it up a little bit. That's it. That's all I said. But we, we okay. We good over here. And then that's when, you know, she was like, okay, because um, I believe he loved you. And he was just telling me how much he loved you. And and this, this, and that. And I'm like, okay. And, you know, I just left it alone and I hung up the phone. And then she went back and told him about the little pregnancy uh, situation and stuff, you know. And I was like, I, I, I already knew. Yeah, I, he already knew about it. What how, pregnancy thing? So, babe, do you want to tell him the story about the pregnancy? Okay. Okay. So. Everything else coming out. Well. Okay. So, um. One day. Before you go there, hell yeah, I deleted my YouTube page. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I didn't. Eat. Okay, oh, so to get to that part, could you stop skipping parts, uh, South Dallas? But 
It's fine. Go ahead. So, we'll get- um, we had ended up doing a pregnancy test one time because my period was a little late and we got two positives and stuff like that. And um, so we thought that, you know, I was pregnant. And after like a, a week or later or so, my cycle had ended up coming. And then I was just, you know, just saying, hey, you know, I'm not pregnant and stuff like that. And she went back and she told South Dallas the whole time South Dallas had already knew because I ended up taking a test. And after I took the two tests and they came back positive, we went to the doctor doctor in Richardson and we went to the um, thing. And that's when they confirmed, like, you know, hey, it probably was just like a false positive or something like that. Because... um, yeah, but anyway, he had. Cause I think he. That's when he talked to Candace that day because he told her, you know, we was on the way to the doctor and stuff just to, to confirm the pregnancy and stuff like that. And then that's when I told her, and she went back and she told South Dallas about it. And South Dallas was like, you know, he had already knew about it and stuff like that. And that that was it. So you know, looking at everything, hearing shit that he told her, and her her going back saying shit, I was like, you know, hey, I don't feel like she was just really there to like, you know, really just listen to me clear what I had to, you know, because she really ain't had to say and, shit and, to me. And wait a minute. Matter of fact, now it came to my head because at the same time when you told her that shit, just this past well, that was over the weekend we was out getting into it and shit yeah. behind the scenes. And um, she sit up there and she told me, what the fuck she tell me? She said, um, she said something else. She said something about, uh, old buddy you was fucking with. She said something about him. Um, I'm just oh, commending both of you because I'm just going to tell you, I don't even know no man that I have ever, like, been in a relationship with to say, old oh, buddy you was dealing with and not choke me every time. So, South Dallas, you do a great job at, you know. You know, dealing with your hiccups. That but you guys have to understand, we wasn't dating. At and, but, but, but not only yeah. that is good. Yeah. But I, I get it, but, I, but I get it. I'm just saying that you guys are doing a great job at this because this is why I don't do breaks because of this type of this 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 type of shit. Because like a month, you still love that person, you still care for that person. And it's just like, I could never talk. You are such a strong woman even to just talk about this right now, Jade. SD, you're a strong man to even talk about old buddy. Well, look, because I'm not pressed behind that shit. It is what it is. If I'm not fucking with you, you ain't my girlfriend okay. at the time. I don't there, is, there is someone that really wants me to ask about the burnt popcorn coochie. What um, is it? About the burnt popcorn. Oh, oh, Are they talking about the herpes and AIDS and shit that no, I? No, no, I think the burnt popcorn coochie came from Money Man. Um, that was an issue with Money Man. Do y'all remember Money Man? I know that Money Man came after. Okay, so um, considering that Isha is a YouTube jump off, we would have to go back a couple guys. So we're gonna go past the SD fling, um, and then. The the money man, the guy that was in jail. Okay. And then you have, that's when you have the, the, the yeah. So there was a thing that Isha had sent some pictures to money man. Um, and he said that she had some burnt popcorn coochie. Is, am I correct? I could be wrong, guys. But I think that that's what um, goody good it could possibly be talking about. Am I wrong? But anyway, SD, what do you have to say about the burnt popcorn coochie? I don't know nothing about that. Okay. All right. Um I don't I didn't I didn't I, I didn't see no burnt popcorn coochie. I don't, <laughs> no, no. I, I I can't I can't say that's official, so I, I don't know. All right. So Cause I, one thing I do know about no legend, is, a legend. Let me let me, let me say this. Can what I thing? just make a disclaimer? Anything we say about anyone's vagina, um, or you know, we that is all alleged. I don't know anything, I've never seen it myself, so clearly it's all alleged here. But anyway, yeah. let, me, let me and let me say this is that one thing I do know is that Isha will drop some fake ass coochie pictures on you quick than a hoe. I, I thought you gotta be it was real. real. I just gotta be real. I gotta be real about this shit. 
Well, I'm confused because just early you said them 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 pictures weren't real. I mean, I mean, them pictures was real. Them, them, them pictures that's going on. Them, them real pussy, pussy pics. Them ain't Google. What? That's what you said earlier the other night. I'm not talking about what she fucking sent me. Oh, Shut so she's the fuck up. Real one. You oh, okay. Goddamn okay. much. Shit, okay, so that's another situation. I shit, I don't Jay. know. I'm you. I'm Jay. Jay. Damn, I'm talking Jay about doesn't know. Oh, shit, I know what she Jay is. doesn't know. Jay doesn't know. So just Damn, yeah, bro. Just, it's uh, fine. It's fine. No that was another, that's a whole nother situation. We were just curious as a pop, popcorn coochie because that has been coming up a lot tonight in this live stream. Um uh so um there's also been some herpes um allegations. Do you want to address that? Those we can definitely can. Um, so with the herpes and the age shit. Just like I did on YouTube and just like I did to Gigi on the phone and Isha. When I was upset, I was like, he got herpes, he got AIDS, he had syphilis. I was, I was telling them all of this. I even went under the comments on Just Jay's YouTube and I was telling them, you know, basically South Dallas had all these different type of diseases. Once again, I was being a fucked up, bitter bitch, just, you know, coming up, making up lies, trying to basically hurt South Dallas, you know, feelings. So Wait, yeah. so the allegations came from you? Y yes, they did come from me. I okay. don't want to start it, though. Yes. Okay, so those allegations came from you, and um, but you're saying that they, those allegations are not true. You made them up. Yeah, I did. Every time I get mad, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> that, that's what I do. I, I sit up here and I, I, I made up the lies. Yes, I did. I did it on th <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Okay, I mean, so would you I, I say mean, that you intentionally tried to embarrass South Dallas on YouTube? Yeah, that's what I did. I, I said it, you know, multiple times that I was trying to destroy, you know, him on, on YouTube. You know, when I get in my feelings, I get mad about something. Yes. Okay, so why were you why why were you trying to do that? Because <laughs> I was pissed off at the time, you know. So I was just, you know, saying all this shit. Then he had a bunch of hoes that he was fucking with on YouTube, you know. So. That's what made okay. me do that. So, all right. <laughs> so, someone wanted to ask you a couple questions. I'm going to drop the link if you don't mind. But hold on. And we're going to make sure we keep it very respectful and very quick, straight to the point. So, I'm going to drop the link. We, we're not scratching over here, y'all. We're going to keep it very mature um, and respectful. So, I'm going to drop the link real quick. We don't have to be here too long. But it was some people that really had some questions. I don't know what they had to ask. So anything I missed, you are able to ask um, ask, ask, ask the questions um, respectfully, not disrespectfully, not cursing. This is not a um, scratching match. It's cold. But um, um, but yeah, let me see if I, it was anything I forgot to ask. Ooh, somebody was on it. Somebody, um, Oak Cliff Bay. Hi. How you doing? Hi, how you doing, me? Uh, this is, I'm a first caller on the show. Okay, thanks for calling. You're welcome. I guess I had a question for, um, Jade mm -hmm. and South Dallas. Okay. Uh, my question is, if you, if Isha was texting you, why, why didn't you block her? If Isha was texting South Dallas? Yeah, or whoever was texting her. So, Jade, if Isha was texting you, why didn't you just block her? She wasn't texting me. She was only texting him. Only time she texts me is when she sent me the screenshots and, the, you know, the conversations between him or her that she wanted to basically expose to me. But, I mean, why would, why would I and block she, her? And she... And she texts you that on your phone or on his phone? No, she she um she texted his she texts his phone with uh you know they was both going back and forth in his text message. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's get this right. Juice box, this so basically when me and Isha was talking for that week and her and Jay got into it, 
That's what Isha she said. end up me. sent the auto messages to Jade to her phone. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. But then when y'all went to social media with it, why wasn't she blocked at that point as well? Yeah, why that wasn't was who blocked? Isha was. Wait, 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 wait. Why wasn't who blocked? Isha. Or why didn't Isha block Jade? Either or. I, I used to listen. I'm glad you brought that up. Because you know, you I told used, me you ain't had social media, so you know I wait. Yeah, yeah, I don't have social media. That was on that was on they shit on they Instagram and shit like that. I used she's to, talking about on Messenger. I you li, listen. I used to they, no juice box. No, I had a goddamn messenger. Oh. Hush. <laughs> listen oh, to oh. what I'm saying. When that when it came down to them getting into it back and forth, I used to ask and used to tell Isha. Just a blocker, just a blocker. I used to tell Candace all them to do that shit, blocker. But every motherfucking time, if she hit the panel or do any goddamn thing, somehow she unblocked and she be in the chat and she can hit the goddamn thing and it's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? So that's when I started looking at shit shaded from then, because I was like, man, y'all, y'all, it's like y'all want this type of shit when all y'all gotta do is just simply block the girl. But y'all never, they never would. They never would. And that, that's on me. So you I wanted them to talk. block your girlfriend? Yeah, I wanted them to block her ass because I already why, knew why what time she was going to be on. I, People can understand why would you want them to block your girlfriend? Because I wanted that shit dead because I wasn't trying to fuck with her. She wasn't trying to fuck with me. It wasn't nothing like that. It was just the sneaky shit that'll be going on. And Jade, the type of girl like, where you ain't going to get the one up on her. Soon when she feel that little sneaky bullshit, she she all the way in. It, it, it's just there. She she going. And I, I would ask her, y'all just block her. Just block her. Like, stop doing this shit. Like the night, that one night, when Jade hopped up on Isha Live and they got into it and shit like that. She could have blocked it in. She chose not to. She chose to entertain this shit. Okay, so my next question is, when you had your show, wasn't Jade and Isha a moderator? Well, I gave Isha the, the moderator stick because when they had called and stuff like that, like I said, me and Isha had ended up talking before and I thought everything was squashed and shit like that until she'll still do that little slick shit. So I'm not petty. I don't care. I'm not insecure. None of that. So I ended up, you know, she came on a the panel. They all, the day that everybody camped up, she had asked for a wrench and, you know, I just gave her a wrench back and South Dollar said, my girl just gave you a wrench. I was just giving her a wrench, you know, because she was over there, you know, she was supporting South Dallas when everything, you know, had went down, you know, between him and Gigi. So you was like, I was like, OK, cool. I'll give her a wrench. Well, when she started throwing her little slick shots and shit and everything was going when I, you know, when South Dallas did get the chance to go live. I was busy at the time and I just popped in and I see she had a rent. So I just took it back. And then uh, that's when other shit had sparked up again. But yes, yeah, she did have a wrench because I ended up giving her a wrench. I did. Okay. Because South Dallas YouTube was on my phone when he had it at one point. Oh, before okay. he did so you, you, yeah. So you were basically okay with the girl he fucked being a moderator on his page. I didn't I, I didn't give a fuck because I thought everything was squashed. Yes I did. Okay. Okay. Um so then oh, my next question uh, oh, go ahead me. No so what month was that like so you guys this so basically month, you I think that was this month. One yeah that was this month. So basically you and Isha had squashed it. I, I mean I'm just and, and, I mean, that's and wrong I correct me because so as far as the moderator thing because I didn't know about that so, um, you and Isha, did you guys like decide to like okay squash it, move on, and then because like why? Because because some people will not understand why it seems like you guys. It seems like okay, you have a girlfriend, and then this YouTube fling, and then you have um SD or whatever, right? So some people won't understand. A lot of people, no matter how you explain it, or no matter your how you live your life. People won't ex understand why you would have some type of communication with a woman that e that slept with your man ever in life. But it was strictly on YouTube because at one point, mm -hmm. um, before you know we even conversated and swatched everything, at one point, Stop Dollars was you know dropping down off the panel, and I only allowed him to go up there, you know, here and there. 
when he'll, you know, ask like, babe, can I hop on the panel? I say, yes, sometimes he have to drop down, you know, because at one point, every time, you know, he was on the panel, she'll come up. He has to drop down. Right. Okay. I don't know if y'all caught any of that, but then I I'm... did. Okay. So at one point, no, he couldn't have any communication with her on or off of YouTube until we had our conversation, you know, and I was like, okay, well, I mean, I'm not, you know, if you're going to communicate with her only on the panel, but don't address none of that shit. If y'all go, you know, politic and do all that little other shit and debate on different things, that's cool. But when it comes to that disrespectful shit, cut it out. And then I started to allow him to, you know, only talk to her on the panel. <coughs> Right, so you can. Somebody said, um, in the chat, this person she has a lot to say about you, right? So this is wow, you're insecure as fuck. Um, and what, that's what a fake want? troll with my that's fake troll. Yes, no, that's you. No. Okay, because I can say that I am not that big of a person. Like I don't know if I could. And then Janae, um, is, is that your name, Janae? Are they trying to? Uh, are they trolling? I mean, are they like doxing you? But um, but. Jade, I can say that some women are different. Everybody is different when in their relationships. People expect and um, accept different things. And I can't like judge you, um, you know, in the type of woman that you are, because if you, I can be naive about it and say like, okay, you better not talk to her ever again. And y'all, but that might be an unrealistic expectation of your man. Like you're going to say like, oh no, hell no, you will never talk to her again. But he's still going to talk to her again. So I kind of like understand where you're coming from where it's like, all right, look, you can talk to her. But I don't know. I couldn't do it. But I'm not judging you for doing it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. At one point he couldn't. But then, you know, when everything I thought everything was dead, you know, I mean, I allow him, you know, like speak on the panel and stuff when it's only, you know, they're having a conversation. I'm not saying get up mm -hmm. there and say, hey, Asian, this, this and that. And like, you know, get the doing all that friendly, flirty shit. No. Right. But right. So, like, Jordan, if, 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 maybe if I, in my tw if when I was 22, maybe I would be like a little and, you know, when, when you're young, you could be a little naive, but like. In my like thirties, I probably would never like if you ever if I ever see you on YouTube with that bitch. First of all, cut it all off. You won't have a YouTube channel. I'm cutting off all the um wires and strings in the house. If you feel like you need YouTube, but like, so for you to you know be like, okay, you can. No, oh, she that. was like that. Trust me. Okay, well, okay, Jay. But what I'm saying is, and then this could also be a learning lesson as to why you don't give niggas any, you know any kind of leeway or any well after everything happened i did let him know like hey you know what i'm 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 i'm, I'm tired of this if this bitch want to keep on throwing her looks slits trying to beat shit because you ain't talking to her or whatever whatever the fuck i don't give a fuck you know it's dead like you you're not allowed to no longer talk to her you can't even communicate to the bitches that even talk to her mm -hmm. like we got an understanding now so like that's your dead and it, it, it's done okay, okay. so now, Jay, okay, my next back. question was my next question was, um, based on the receipts that were shown from Isha's text or whatever, uh, something about you used to text her like, good morning. I um, never text Isha good morning. She can never show you a text of me saying good morning. Or did you text her good night or have a good day or something something like that, something similar? <laughs> no, I don't um, ever. No, I don't, oh, I don't I know, I ever I get that to her besides. About. I mean, if I ever said, you know, have a good day or something, I was probably like on the phone when she was like, you know, have a good day at work or something. I was like, you know, okay, you know, I was, I wasn't trying to be a little bitch, like, okay, fuck you, I'm, I'm going to work, you know. But I don't, I don't remember ever texting her like good morning or or good night or anything like that. Okay, could you ever see yourself being like a sister wife? No, I can never see myself being a sister wife. To fuck. <laughs> okay, because I'm just saying, because it seems like um. As they, you know, I fucks with you sometimes and sometimes I don't because you can be a little hard headed. But mm -hmm. you being 22, I feel that maybe when you get a little older, I don't think that's going to be what you want. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, like, how, I, mean, okay, hey, I don't mean to, I don't, and, and not to be rude, but what like, what age range are you? I fuck with you, South Dallas, but you can be hard headed, and you know I don't agree with the way you treat women. You know that from the jump. I don't, I don't agree. Wait, 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 I don't. Wait. I don't know, South Dallas. Hold on. I don't know your girl at all. 
you know, we might have had back and forth on YouTube or whatever. I ain't take that shit serious. But I don't agree with you calling her a bitch. That's just mm -hmm. me. You do what you want. Mm -hmm. But I don't agree with it. And I'm pretty sure when she gets older, she ain't gonna agree with it. Well, okay, I no, don't, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait. speak first and you to speak second. God, I damn. don't I don't agree with <laughs> South Dallas calling me a bitch, but I know how I am. So sometimes I do correct him, you know, right then and there. Man, fuck that. You call Wait, me a bitch too. I Listen, do, but let, Paul, me, let, let me talk. Let me when I'm finished, you can fucking talk. I don't agree with him calling me a bitch. Man, I correct him bro. sometimes right then and there on YouTube, but I know when I do, when I correct him right away, I'm going to get on his ass, so then it's going to start like, you know, a whole beef between him and him, me and him publicly on YouTube. So sometimes I'll wait and I correct him later, or I make him mute the phone and I correct him like, you know, babe, I'm sorry, I know you don't like for me to, you know, be calling you a bitch. Okay, now let me, let, me, let me talk. First of all, it's like this. Every nigga I don't give a fuck what nigga it is. Every nigga talk to his niggas. We call all y'all bitches. Okay, let's be clear about that. Number two, no, wait a wait a minute. Number two, if a nigga fucking you in the motherfucking bed and doing something, and he call you his bitch. You ain't got no fucking problem with it. You can't pick and choose you when a nigga. Answer. Wait a goddamn minute. You can't pick and choose <laughs> when a nigga can call you a bitch. So y'all go around calling us niggas and every damn thing else. So, so I don't want to hear that petty shit. That don't mean I got no love lost for a motherfucker. Nobody that ain't disrespectful. Didn't say you had no love that, lost, but what I'm saying is, neither. just like God, today, let me, let me, hold let me, on, South Dallas. Just like today, it's yeah. three hundred. You're not plus touching my phone. You just spit on it. You know what? Fuck it. Y'all have this bullshit ass <laughs> conversation because I'm too real for this fucking shit. Well, no, but it's all that. You won't let me speak my motherfucking shit. You, you were doing good. Me. You were doing a great no, job. No, you was doing a good job, South Dallas, by giving everybody your your oh, point damn, of view. Damn, bro. Everything got to be a goddamn argument, bro. Let me no. fucking talk. Now, juice box, this is just what it is. But okay, I'm, that's fine. But what hey, I'm saying if I, is, if I'm taking care of your ass, I'm being a fucking man, giving you good dick, fucking being loving and caring, doing all the shit that a man's supposed to do. And just because I'm a street nigga and I talk the way I talk, goddamn it, you knew that before you got into it with me. But so what I'm saying is, you don't have that calm down, breathe. Let me tell you something. I done dated women that's in their 40s and they still love a nigga like me. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Hell, you dated fucking about you. I'm talking about Jay. Stop it. Stop being so emotional. On blood. Yeah. Stop getting so emotional. I'm talking to hey, Jay. No, ain't no I'm woman gonna tell me how to fucking act. I'm, I'm not talking to women. I'm talking to her. I'm talking woman to woman. No, you ain't I'm talking, talking to my woman. To I'm woman. talking to you. Yes, I was. I asked her, did she like you are, for her man to be called a bitch in front of 400 people online? They can fucking hear your big loud ass. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. God damn it, what I'm telling you, your ass is dead. You, you shut up, I ain't talking to you. So if you want to get involved with that shit, you go right the fuck ahead and see what you get to. Okay. These old bit of bitches, let them be them. <laughs> That's why I don't date old hoes no more. <laughs> That's why. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I, know, I, I get tickled every time SD goes off. I don't know why. I know all that shit. Ain't nobody about to tell me shit. Hell the fuck. <laughs> Can't nobody put it. Man, look. Um, uh, Jay, can you explain to your uh fiance that I was addressing the question to you on how you felt about being called a bitch in front of 400 people on live? Hell, fuck hell no. See y'all women fucking talking about this and that. Jay, can you put your man in the bed? Can you put him in the bed so you can finish this woman to woman conversation? But she ain't got no dick up here. But Jay, but 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 SD, we, she was just coming from a different perspective. That's all. She's not like saying that you're a bad person or nothing. I've been There's some people. With, hold on, I've but been listen to it. Just you for a whole fucking year. I know her fucking for just it's, uh, it's more than a year. You from? know me, I don't Where like to disrespect okay. anyway, Sam Dallas. So if you've been knowing me and we you done don't had even conversations, date black men. you date African men and and black you're men. You're probably the reason why. You're literally yeah, yeah, the reason African why. African men do it too. They Mine have more don't. than one wife. Mine don't. So now what's your no. excuse? Am I no, am I when I get on live in front of five hundred people calling me a bitch? Juice box, let's not go there. Let's go there, honey. Now listen, Let's go there. this is what I'm saying. 
Jade, if you can just rub his you back, back and, long, just calm down and a little give bit. him a bottle and and change his pamper so he can calm down so we can talk to you, Jade. Woman to woman. Yeah, well, what's SD, the, what's but listen, but listen, what are you doing over there? In Africa? What I'm saying. What are you doing over there? In Africa? No, he, he, he be calling. He be calling in on you trying to day. get on live with me. At least How about I'm here that? every day. I'm but here every day. He's here every day too. You a goddamn lie, you don't. Oh my! God. He only goes to Africa during Christmas, South Dallas. Come again <laughs> during Christmas. Come again, SD. But listen, do you listen? You you, you have to understand lie. this. But SD, listen. There there could be thousands of women out here that's that's listening to this, and they could possibly be thinking exactly how Oak Cliff Bay is thinking. But this is your opportunity to you know explain. You know, you know what I'm saying. You don't have to. They they want to know where you're coming from as a. Uh, uh, a pyro man. Fuck all that. Fuck all that game bank shit. I'm being serious right now. I uh, me too. What 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 I'm saying is this. I be damned if somebody who put down black men gonna come up here and try to tell me how a black man is supposed to be living. I was talking to you. I was talking listen, to your fiance. Don't, you don't got no right to quit. You go get you a black it's man first of all. Uh, before you want to question a black woman show, who this, deal with a black man. It's all you. about black love. And God damn it. My son is black. I ain't got no problem with black men. I just don't agree that a black man is disrespecting his fiance in front of 400 people. You can get mad if you want, but I'm not going to agree with it. So you kiss my ass with that. I'm not going to agree with it. I don't agree with that. Okay, okay, and guess what? I'm not going to get out of my body because you don't agree. Because guess what, my nigga? You're entitled to your opinion, and your opinion ain't shit to me. Now, no, back, to Jay, you have back, point. To no, back to Jay. Back to Jay. Back to Jay. Goodbye. Shit. Okay, but you guys. Back, 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 back to Jay. Back to Jay. Now, Jay, are you okay with your man calling you a bitch in front of 600 people? No. Are you? Okay. Would you be okay with me if I didn't call you a bitch? But I went to another country and I could be fucking everything over months in and months out, months in and months out. But you're literally doing Thank the you. same thing here. What the Hello? fuck? I'm not I don't cheat on this woman. That's what huh? you don't understand. What? what? I don't cheat. I'm sorry, me. Can you show us that backdrop again and see what that say? Please, dude. What it say? Sideline what? The I side don't cheat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't I cheat. I, I mean, so I get, I get this whole See, vibe is for play play. Juice box. Apparently, you I ain't think, been Okay, listening. but listen, but cheating is... I've been listening. I listening. was literally talking to Jade, so I don't know how you got into a woman's conversation. Okay, listen, but, okay, but listen, y'all. But seriously, the reason well, this is what I'm I'm understanding that certain relationships, if you if if you have these expectations, and then you might have a different expectation as Jade may have. Is Jade might be like, okay, as long as you're honest with me, then it's not cheating. Or if as long as it was, you know, such and such. Like it seems to me that they do have a different type of relationship that everybody, you know, might not be accustomed to or used to, but they have a, a type of relationship that certain things may be more acceptable in their relationship that wouldn't traditionally be acceptable in our relationships. And I can't judge them on that. So it's like, is it cheating if it's acceptable in their relationship? Then no. But I don't, you know, but it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm not saying that it's acceptable in our relationship because it's not. Mm -hmm. We was breaking up. We we're broken up for a month. He was doing whatever he was doing. You know, I was, I'm, I can't sit up here and say that I'm, you know, all the way clean either. You know, I was doing whatever I was doing with us break, broken up for that month. When we came back, we put all that shit that happened within that month of being broken up behind us and we move forward you know when the shit came you know when it everything came out you know with him going back and forth with isha with us you know about to you know start our family thing back up yes problems did come in again but we did put that behind us and we moved forward and that's just that. I mean, can't nobody sit up here and say that they had man has been loyal to them throughout the whole relationship. Relationship comes, you know, in a relationship, problems do come. You know, men do cheat. A few women do cheat. But me and him, we were not together. We were broken up literally a whole month with no contact whatsoever. Dad, do you see yourself making excuses for South Dallas behavior? I'm not making what excuses for him at all. These are not excuses. These, This is what happened. What the fuck? Do you not know this girl got, she can check in my phones. She know about my whereabouts. 
Every motherfucking that, thing. Damn, hello, Jay. Can I speak to Jay? No, you you stop trying to portray like I'm cheating on somebody, bitch, because you been cheating on your okay, fucking no, kid up there. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. I'm not your bitch. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. I'm sorry. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. You got the wrong one. I'm not your bitch. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, y'all. Okay. You want to get mad because you don't know how Handle yourself, sir. Control him, Jade. Where's Where's his binky at? Yeah, you okay, want to? Well, let's just see. I ain't working out of South Dallas. I can still have a fucking conversation with your girl. You not her damn daddy. Okay. The fuck? Okay, okay so I have she a question wrong. for you. Oh, 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 you so um, okay, so. I have a question. I'm so, not your okay, so maybe, okay, so oh, okay, so Jay, what's your question? So I have a question. What, what, um, can you tell me how was he cheating if we were broken up for a whole month? Well, technically, if I'm talking about based off this live, mm. are you talking now, about the receipts from when he was talking to her for like that week when we were just, you know, starting, you know, I mean, to me. To me, texting is considered cheating. Texting is mm. definitely cheating. When you're talking to a woman, you're filling their head up and making them feel like something, it is definitely cheating. Well, we were just coming back in. Not, we were uh, just, you know, coming back well, in, getting back together, you know, trying to, you know, see, like, what are we going to do with our relationship? That's why Stop Dollars was still communicating with her because he didn't know if I was coming back and we were going to be serious. Me and Stop Dallas didn't agree and say, hey, we're going to be together until like the beginning of October, the end of August. The beginning of October is when we sat there and we said, you know, after everything has been exposed to it, like Isha, we're going to be together. That's after. So we were back seeing each oh, other. Yes, we too. were. It's but we didn't make broken. everything Don't official. Every, when everything got swashed, when he communicated with the person that I was talking to, and we got everything so with that said. <laughs> And what did you say, Jay? I couldn't hear him. No, that, that was you he 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 looking at. He looking at comments from we from a long time ago. Oh, okay. That was off Dallas. They over with. She, she didn't come and something else by now. Oh, okay. You can go ahead, Jay. Yeah, but <clears throat> that was that. That's that. You know, we was broken up for a month. We started back seeing each other after, and you know, we haven't decided and made it like very clear and known and stamped like you know we we gonna be together and be a family again so no it wasn't cheating i mean it, it is cheating you know texting somebody and stuff like this but I, I do consider that cheating what they did within that month of us being broken up you know that's not because i had no communication with him once he left that last time everything was there until like August, the middle of August, when we started back talking again. Mm. Got you. Okay, can you put your man on the phone? I, uh, I'm sorry, you're listening. Sam Dallas, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear your bitch ass. Uh, cor correct your language, sir. I'm not Jade. I'm not disrespecting you, so don't disrespect me. Man, watch your mouth, girl. Go get you. No, nah, my nigga, you watch your mouth. I'm talking to you civil. Go get your. Go okay, get let's you just all be. Okay, y'all, let's just be respectful, and you know, we we can. Some some hood niggas don't know how to be respectful, me. That's all they know is what to do the, how they want, I think I didn't know how to be respectful. What you want, just about? Thank you. I appreciate that, South Dallas. So my question is to you: How do you think your actions and behavior affect your girlfriend, whether or not if it was? Y'all was off for a month or not? That was a good question. How the fuck do my actions do what? No, no, no. So, so as the she's saying, how do you think your actions affect your girlfriend? Like, so how do you think you made Jay feel? You know, even if you were not cheating or not, like um, maybe going on panels or just saying like Isha was your homegirl or just you know, kind of like allowing Isha to even. Not even Isha, but maybe other women too, because I'm I might be just talking about Isha because I don't know any other women. But how do you think that your actions may have made Jade feel? Without Jade saying how she felt, Jade, you gotta be quiet. As D has to say how he feels like he made you feel by at his the, actions. At the end of the day, it's like this. 
I know what go on in real life. I could give a fuck what I do on fucking YouTube because it ain't real life. That's just that. Like, this shit ain't fucking real. People need to stop trying to treat it like it is. That should be pissing me off because there be so many people trying to, like, integrate this shit like this shit real. I don't know none of these people outside this bitch from a can of paint. I don't see them like that outside like that. None of that type of shit. So what I do up in my household is what I do. If if, if I if I'm being a man here in my motherfucking house, that all that fucking matters and that's all that fucking counts. Outside of this shit, I could be an entertainer. For all y'all know, I could be a whole fucking I'm telling y'all I'm a blood, I'm a game back, I could be a whole police. Y'all don't okay. fucking know the fucking truth. Me, so, but you gotta so, 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 so what I'm so what I'm what I'm saying is respectfully you gotta answer the question. I, I'm by, I, I, am, like, I, I am answering so basically what I'm saying is this. Okay. This is what I'm saying is this. Right. She okay. know what it is in real life. No, 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 no. That no, does no, what no. it is. How do you genuinely feel like you made her feel during that time? Despite it being the YouTube, whether it's fake for real or whatever, how do you feel like, like if you could just go in the room by yourself without Jay being right here and you just were saying like, damn, how do you really feel like she felt during that time? What? Uh, her feelings was hurt. So are you okay with hurting her feelings? Because it seemed like it was I think y'all was talking for a year, you and Isha. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's bash SD, huh? No, 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 we're not bashing you. No, no, we're not bashing you. No, we're not bashing you. I wouldn't know half of the shit that's out here if it weren't for her ass. So I ain't gonna hear none of that fucking shit. No, we're not bashing anybody, SD. We're not bashing but no, fuck that shit. No, but you don't. We didn't even get to her yet. Shit. We didn't even get to her yet. So why are you doing all of that? We just. I, 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 I honestly don't want to answer juice box questions. I just don't. No. Yeah, she's a feminist. I don't fuck with them. What a feminist! I'm. I, what does a feminist have to do with something? No, right, we, right, wrong. Nigga, I don't fuck with real, feminists. I, I was gonna ask you that though. I don't fuck no, with that. No, that ain't got no angle. Me even. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 you me do. Me a feminist too. No, but I was going to ask you that too. It, it, but it's SD. The only reason why I was asking you that is because even the way you answered the question when you said like YouTube is not real and all of that and all of that, like I I get it. Like I do YouTube myself, so I get it. So I'm not coming down on you. I was gonna ask you that type of question anyway. Like even though this is not real and it's like virtual, like how do you feel? Like like do you think that like how do you make how do you think that you make her feel? But I think that I think that Jade has some things that she has done. Also, that could make could have made you feel some type of way. So I wasn't just saying that about you, but she just said it. Um, Juice Box said it at that moment, but it was just one of those mom one of those things that I was curious to know. Like, how do you feel like she felt? That's all. We don't scratch over here. We ain't trying to come down on you or nothing. Like I just, you know, it was just just wondering. Like, how do you think you made her feel? And you said you feel like you hurt her feelings, but that's cool. So. But it's not like to be rude or nasty or nothing. It's just like wondering where you was coming from as a man. I just feel like I hurt her feelings. I hurt her feelings. Uh, whatever I did in real life, you know, to get that shit straight, that's all that, that matters. And at the end of the fucking day, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, so we good. Everything good. Like, I, like it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, if it's one thing I do regret, I regret getting on YouTube the way I did because everybody don't know everybody's life. And I was, for me, when I was getting on YouTube doing the shit that I was doing, I was going through something, a major situation. And when people like to talk about me, sit there and say, oh, SD, you a drunk, or SD this and all that and et cetera. Motherfuckers don't know my life and what the fuck I was going through or facing and dealing with. They don't know that shit because I don't put that out there. And even the people I done talk to on YouTube, I, behind the scenes, they don't fucking know. Because people just don't know. So I was going through a situation, which is the only reason why I hopped on this motherfucker to clear my mind and event and do little different things. Because it was coming between even me and my girl and shit like that. So mm -hmm. 
I regret all of this shit. And that's the reason why I deleted that shit. Fuck that monetization shit. Fuck all them subscribers shit. Fuck all this shit. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the only, to be honest with you, the only way I knew about certain things that transpired yesterday because of phone calls that I got. Okay? Mm -hmm. Other than that, hell, and them individual calling me, asked me what I would do. I, I was sitting up there playing the game. I wasn't even worried about this shit. None of this shit. So that's why I say, like, I, I can, re it's easy for me to remove mm -hmm. certain people and certain things out of my motherfucking life because of what I haven't been through. I don't need certain type of shit. So at the end of the day, I hate the fact that I hurt in my woman feelings and shit like that. I hated that her feelings got hurt behind mm -hmm. some petty ass, nothing ass shit. But at mm -hmm. the end of the motherfucking day, I really regret just hopping on YouTube and just going along with that fucking shit. That's why I fucked up, because in the beginning, me and one of my partners, we trolled on this bitch. He got off because he gave this shit because it was too fake and too phony for him. I mm -hmm. kept going because I thought the shit was funny, and it was just so much other shit, and I was like, man, I got to say this, I got to say this. I regret that whole ass shit. And that's just it. That's all. And that's why I'm no longer going to be up on that bitch. That's it. That's all. <laughs> okay. So, Jay, do you think that, and I, I we appreciate your answer. And, um, Jay, do you feel like the same question for you? Oh, hey, Money Man. Y'all, Money Man in the Billion. Um, I said in the bill, Billion. Shout out to Money Man up in the building. Um, But, yeah. So, Jay, do you think that, because some people think that, you know, Either, either it's a, a misconception or they had their own opinions like do you think that it's some things that um, you reacted um, as far as SD is concerned do you think it's some things that you did um, that could have or do you, how do you feel like you know SD felt about some of your reactions um I know he was pissed off you know and heard about a lot of stuff because he felt portrayed and stuff like that but mm -hmm. um yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so do you think that both of y'all, like, although, you know, SD might have initiated the whole thing, do you think that, that the both of you could have, um, you know, changed some of your behavior when it came to YouTube? I was in the man's problem. Um, yeah. Um, oh. like when everything happened and stuff like that, <laughs> so I just kind of let him know. Like, you I know, I was... I'm Can you let me talk, nah, please? I'm going to just mute because... Why every no. time when Jay wants to give an answer, <laughs> she gets interrupted, but when he gives I'm an answer, she don't say nothing. We was fair. I said you may have initiated because you you did initiate it, though. As you got to be for real. You, in, you, you admitted that you initiated it and you was wrong. So I'm just saying, although... I was trying to come from a point of view where she was, you know, we understand that he may have initiated because you were the one that was on YouTube, not her, right? Not being brutal, nasty, as the. I'm saying that although you may have initiated it as far as like she doesn't know these people, but, you know, she said that you may have hurt her. I mean, she may have hurt your feelings, too, because. I, I mean, I've heard that she did things to embarrass you as well. So, you know, that could have hurt your feelings. Well, look, man, this the thing about it is that I'm still with her. None of that shit really, it don't really hurt me because it, it don't, it don't got no effect on me type shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, like I did, I deleted my page. I deleted YouTube. Guess what? It don't exist no more. It mm -hmm. don't exist. So none of that shit fucking bothers me. Like But it could bother her. It could bother her. Well, if it still bothers her, that's because she keep that shit lingering because after what happened over this weekend, me and her been real good and real fine okay. and shit like that. But well, that's good. as long as she keep on listening to that app and shit and keep Well, I don't listen to it. App, I don't I think she's doing a great job because I don't know how I would handle this stuff. That's I don't know how I would handle it for me. So fuck that shit. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to make it any more messy with you two than it than it has to be. But you know, it could be a learning lesson for everybody though. Like y'all, y'all, and, and I think Jay, when you when you start your page, I think y'all relationship, you know, um, y'all don't have like the traditional relationship that everybody is used to. So I think it could be 
pretty interesting. Like for you to just, you know, do your thing. Um, I'll drop your link if you want me to drop your link for your channel and stuff like that. But I think I don't want my link dropped because I don't want all the little messy ass trolls and stuff. Yeah, we'll have to do it right now. But when you ready, you, I know you said that you had a vlog that y'all was going to Jamaica. Um, you getting a new house and stuff. So you know, when you ready to um for for to you know. Get I'm not doing any lives. It's just strictly like just vlogs, yeah, like that. But like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be one of those that you know do all this little messy YouTube stuff. But I mean, like, this is my last time, um, you know, addressing everything about all this little bullshit. You know, they can make 10, 20 more months and lives after this. That's okay because I mean, it's not gonna stop anything over here. We're still gonna live life. We're still gonna be happy, and that's just, that's just that. So. Well, how do you feel about him um, as D deleting his, his channel? I mean, I don't, I don't care. I told him, you know, I was kind of happy without it because, you know, we were fine without YouTube, you know. And when he got on YouTube, you know, we were still kind of good here and there. But it did kind of like, you know, kind of get in the way a little bit with all the trolls and the little messy stuff. And, you know, yeah. sometimes that little toxic shit, you know, it can kind of, you know, fuck up your peace a little bit. So, you know, I'm not too mad about the YouTube. I did tell him, like, you know, hey, if you're going to come back later and, like, um, you know, do your YouTube and stuff like that. You know, you could do that, but you know, like, don't don't do that little beef shit. You know, let that, that let that go. And you know, next time when you do happen to come onto YouTube, you know, you no, know, I ain't coming back on you that know, fucking not shit. to do certain shit I'm again. You know what I mean? I'm done with that whole and, that shit. Like, Lizzie, any anytime you want to come and vent, you know, you can always come over here. Really you know. Hold on, really y'all. It's SD birthday right now. It's I, 12 22. We almost missed it. I, Happy I birthday again. I'd rather sell crack before I go back on YouTube looking for <laughs> any goddamn money. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Hell no. Well, uh, Mink, I'm going to go ahead and get down. I appreciate you for letting okay. me on the line. Jay, I yeah. enjoyed the conversation. South Dallas. Fuck you, Juice Box. <laughs> 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 Why we do you this? Hold on, South Dallas, but you know me from the jump. I've been on your ass, and that ain't gonna never change. But I never steered you wrong or told you something that wasn't facts and tried to steer you in the right way because I'm way older than you, so I'm just putting you up on game. Okay. So don't get mad at me because I'm trying to help you. You ain't gonna okay. hear my voice no more, Juice Box. So you ain't got a word. Uh, okay, well, when you pop out on another live, I will be. I never will. We'll find out. All right, bye, you guys. But thank you for calling in. Thank and, and you're thank welcome. You too. So somebody here, like maybe we can end it on this snow, um, because it's always like we dealt with this before, guys. Doesn't this? I mean, for for my subscribers and my people, right? Doesn't this remind you of this nonsense? Like, okay, um, but anyway. I don't like how you're trying to make it seem like you you just was playing Isha when you all know you had feelings for her. Stop lying. You like Isha, period. Girl, you got Isha. Go home. Go back to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Isha. He already said his piece, girl. He like, what do you want to know? Who said that? Sexy mama. I think that was like a troll. I don't got no I fucking don't... feelings for no goddamn Isha. Like, that's what y'all got to, this should be, y'all learning experience of not believing everything a man tell you because sometimes, look, bless Holly's like, mm -hmm, congratulations. Hey, I'm in out, you know what, it's one thing about me, me, I have always came on her and told women the hard motherfucking truth about she. I'm not fucking lying, I always have, that's why a lot of women, certain women who used to fuck with me. On YouTube, they do not fuck with me because they feel like I'm a certain type of way towards a woman. But if they'll take what the fuck I'm saying, maybe they won't fucking get played by these niggas out here because I'm not fucking lying to you. Like, I'm just telling the fucking truth about that. No, you can really help some people out, though, for real. Like, if you go analyze the message, like, has a man ever told you? Oh, yeah, so um, let me, I got to go with my phone because, like, I even have a, um, a video. So um, if you, you got to, like, you got to, you got to, like, analyze what people tell you. Not analyze, but don't take it so, like, girl, like, this is, this should be a learning lesson for all of us. Like, 
girl, don't believe everything that they tell you because it's not all the way. It's not always true. Like, I love you. Don't mean I love you. But um, but hold on, let me. I want yep. to... Especially if that nigga ain't showing you that he loves you. Yeah. Love is a love is an action word. It is. You right. And coming from a man, sometimes we gotta listen to men, y'all. Not just when they get in, tr in trouble, but you gotta listen to them. But hold on, I got, I got, I do have one more thing that I forgot to play. Don't take it personal. Yeah, Juice Box said, "Don't take it personal." She just was asking you questions. Um, and I don't think people was coming down on SD like, um, you know, we know that you've been getting a lot of heat over the internet these past couple of days, and um, you know, we just was we y'all know how SD SD tickles me every time he get mad. I don't know why it just makes me laugh when he start going off and be like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is it just me or you know, somebody is saying Jade deserves better though? What do you think about that, SD? I mean, she if she go out there and find better, she would have. I'm not. You see, in real life, I ain't no fucked up ass nigga. Y'all getting the fucking shit twisted. Yeah, I I don't understand what the fuck I fucking did wrong. I left I left somebody alone. And fuck, I strung them along for one week. They had a talk and talked about that fucking shit. I'm not the only one who's at guilt behind certain shit neither. So guess the fuck what? It is what the fuck it is. <laughs> shit, I'm a good ass man. I'm a good man. Hell, fuck. Hell, it, I just feel like there's a lot of jealous ass women mad because they ain't got that. Or their baby daddies don't do shit or some shit like that. Hell, fuck, don't get mad. Shit, go find you a good one. Hell, I'm a good man. Shit, hell. What do you think about a 35 year old woman that doesn't have it, but a 22 year old woman does? That, that well, hey, that that that's on her. Mm. To choose to live your lifestyle better, cause guess what? I could deal with a 22 year old popping her shit and doing what she do because she young. You get to a certain fucking age, and you're a woman, and you doing it now, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. You said in your fucking way. Why would not they young? Shit, fuck. I don't. I did at that point now. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Okay, so here's one more message, y'all. And I don't want to make this too long because I want to make sure that people could catch this replay. So Jade and SD, um, what they had to say won't go unnoticed. Um because hold on now. So someone in the bushes wants to know while I'm getting this, as the would you want um you know the typical would you want your daughter or your um sister or niece or a female that you hold dearly to your heart to be talked to the way you speak to other women? Oh my God! What the fuck? So what about what? We, why? Why are we talk about how I call somebody a bitch? What about the video? Why ain't nobody asking about the video she sent out in the shit she <laughs> fucking did? What the fuck? I the did. Fuck? I was gonna ask about that. All right, hold on. All right, so wait. Listen, what this is a video. Bastard nigga. Bastard no. nigga every time. <laughs> yeah. Listen, okay, okay. We didn't get to go into all of that, but maybe I'll just go into that tomorrow, even if you're not here. But so listen, this is a video that um let's let's just hear this real quick. This is from Creamins Live. SD is on this live, um, speaking to it looks like uh powder puff and Shano. So let's hear what SD had to say. It's a very quick video. Who I lied on? You talking about Taisha? Listen, I can't be, I, 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 I can't be, I can't be with a woman. I can't be with a woman in the bed with a woman the whole fucking week and see all my fucking lies and I'm fucking lying like that, nigga. I can send you a fucking, I can give you a fucking dream, my nigga, but you can't be fucking stupid about the shit. It's clear. That's number one. DJ on the other end, that was so. So we gonna act like we dumb now. Who I lied on? You talking about Taisha? Listen, I can't be, I, 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 I can't be, I can't be with a woman. I can't be with a woman in the bed with a woman the whole fucking week and see all my fucking lies and I'm fucking lying like that, nigga. I can send you a fucking, I can give you a fucking dream, my nigga, but you can't be fucking stupid about the shit. It's clear. That's number 
on one. Let's go. DG on the Let's other go. end. That was so. So we gonna act like we dumb now. Who I lied on you? What do y'all think about that? He's basically saying he can sell you a dream, but you can't be stupid about it. <laughs> exactly. Because the whole damn time, when since everybody want to make it out like, oh, Jay deserved better than SD with Chief, how the fuck was I cheating in that week when I made it fucking clear to her and who the fuck I was with? But she the one who, what the fuck? She was playing the duck. Goddamn. I mean, shit, the finger should be pointed at her, not me. Jade, it was your fault, damn it. Say. But no, I understand what you're saying. Um, if you if he's selling you a dream and you fall for it, as far as the women that fell for it, um you, you it's some self evaluation that you uh you have to be accountable for some of your actions as well as a woman. You know what I'm saying? And as a man, you have to be accountable for leading women on that's not a good that's not a good thing for you to do either because it could it could lead to dangerous things but us as women we can't take every that's like um all of the little sweet little nothings that a man can like swindle you with or me. talk you girls off but me you got to be accountable too and be smart about it because they can tell SD is here to tell you that he can say that and not mean it. But me, I'm gonna tell you dangerous situations mm -hmm. is when yeah. you put a man, when you put a man in a situation and you dealing with other individuals that I have no idea about, and I don't know what type of pool they really got or what they know about me and this and this and that and the third, and you put me in a situation, you think I want to fuck with something like that? No. You think I want to fuck with something like that. You think I'm gonna go back to something like nah, man, I had to. I got to get ghosts. I had to go. Like, it's, it's, it's deeper. And that's why when you were asking me, well, would you, if if, if, if Jay, this, this, that, would you be, like, hell no. Because it was deeper than that. I, I was in situations that I probably wouldn't be on this bitch talking to y'all if, if niggas was some damn fools or something like that. And niggas just didn't keep it real or being a man about it. I, I don't even know these niggas like that. And that's real shit. That's real shit. But ain't nobody in the comment. I don't, I don't see nobody questioning her about that type of shit. Putting the putting the innocent man in the way of a, of a, of a goddamn cross her when I ain't no shit about that shit. Nothing. Shit's weird. We can't hear you, Mink. Hold on. That's some, that's just some real ass shit. No, nah, true. Hold on, y'all. Um, I want I want to do that shit to motherfucking body. Oh, wait a minute, Reese. Thank you for your. Uh, what is this? The super chat. Thank you, Reese D. Thank you, y'all. So, is there anything out? Because I don't want to leave it on a negative note, y'all. Because, SD, we do appreciate you coming and, you know, being open and honest with you and having Jay come on and be open and honest about her feelings, you know, about everything. So, there's no bad blood over here, shouting. <laughs> um, yeah. How are you, innocent? Lord. If y'all want to come back, y'all can come back because I think people may have some other questions. It's not a scratch session. Y'all want to, you know, express your feelings in any way. You, you're always welcome to come back. If it's something that I didn't touch on, you know. Yeah. You know, Yo ass did drop the receipts I wanted you to drop. What, what other ones did you want to? The shit that I was saying earlier about the fucking, uh, what's that shit on? Um, and fuck it. it, it don't matter. You got them, so whenever it, it come across, you you got them to show. Cause I, man, I'm done with this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I just, yeah. I, I just wish motherfuckers like stop, stop making lies about me, man. Because at the end of the day, that beef was between you and my girl. I don't know why in the fuck you coming for me instead of trying to come for my girl. You should be coming for her, not me. But you coming for me for some damn reason. To make that shit make sense. 
But why would you want her to come for, for her, though? Because them women, in the same way she took up for me, that's what she's supposed to do. I wasn't trying to argue with her, eh? Mm. I wasn't trying to argue with her. She, she so you was basically like, whatever my girl did, you should have been coming for something. Okay. Yeah, she should have, because the whole damn thing about it, I never, I never said nothing or did nothing to her. Not me. I didn't do shit. Not this whole fucking time. Right, but people are going to, I mean, but like, I'm going to take that, like, everybody going to take that a different way. Like, you saying, don't, what, what you mean by don't come for me, you should be coming for my girl. If my, if my, if my girl sitting up here and she said something to you about how she came in, about how she came and approached me, then you need to handle it with her. Not by fucking sitting up here going on YouTube and trying to fucking embarrass me and, 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 and put me out there like that. I didn't do nothing to you. I didn't do right. nothing to you. Okay, but I, but you don't see that her embarrassing you is also embarrassing your girl because y'all both like together. Like, yeah. do you think your girl wants to be walking around thinking with people thinking like, oh yeah, your dude did is, is a vampire, you know, on some weird shit? Even though he, we we over here, we believe Isha's not telling the complete truth about that. Like, but, but I, no, I believe my, I can say that I believe what you said. I believe that she sucked your dick. But that's my point. Why why is she talking about me when I never came at her? Because she's that's trying to my, make it. She's trying to make Jade embarrassed. But she can't embarrass Jay because Jay know me better than anybody do on her. She know me, know me. Isha, well, Isha in her mind, in like mind, she's wanting up Jade and by embarrassing both of y'all. Like, well, she, 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 well, she not because truth be told, y'all have talked to Isha here and there for a year, but Isha only really got to know me for fucking what? A month, if that? So you like, had sex with her three times? Oh... Uh, it was more than that. So y'all had sex more than that? Yeah. I mean, it depends on how y'all count out the times. Days. And not not in... How many like, times? multiple times a day? Yeah. No, not that. Just, like, how many... So you met up with her, like, five times. How many times you smashed out of those five? Every time I done seen her, like, just keeping it like that, like, every time I seen her, I smashed on her, except the last damn time. I mean, I mean wait, wait. Every time I'd have seen her except the first two times, I didn't smash. After them first two times, ever since then, I smashed on her. Every time I seen her, except the last time I didn't smash on her because she was on her fucking cycle. And that was the Sunday. And that was the Sunday, and that's the day I ended up leaving. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about... Oh, this is just too much. We might have to... Add, okay, I don't want to continue this, but we, we just had so many other questions because... Why? What do you think about her taking pictures of you in church? Who? Isha. She took pictures of me in church? Yeah. I didn't know that. Lord. I, I, I didn't. Wait a motherfucking minute. You, she they took want a, Meg, they want o, OC girl. Y'all know OC girl. OC, OC girl said, Mink, please ask Jane and SD to come back again to finish up. Because... Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. She took pictures of me while I was in the church? Yes. What are these pictures at? She posted it on a video. She took a video of you in church. That snake ass bitch. See, I, man, that, that man, that's crazy. I, I had no idea that. None. I, I didn't even know nothing about that till you just told me that. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> wow. It was more, um, it was more than that. He's adding it up. I'm hollering. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, he's adding it up. Oh no. But so I, I think that what he's saying is it was more than that, but he's saying that they met a total of five times. The first time they didn't have sex. Um, she sucked his dick um, the last time she was on her period. So that is a total of three times. Wow. Wow. Fuck all this shit. She had a video of me in church. Yeah, you were waving a church fan. <laughs> I thought the was were hiding a bitch in that hole, but damn. What the fuck she taking a video for? What, what was that? <laughs> 
the fuck was that for? <laughs> man, Meek, are you playing or are you serious? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> See, I'm Meek, playing. stop playing, bro. Like I'm not. That's why I said you might need to just listen. I don't want to do this to you on your birthday. Maybe like at the like I don't know. Like it's oh, a lot. Fuck that shit. What? What the fuck? No, you just said it now. Yeah, le- well, she said your legs. Reese, look, we- Reese's not gonna lie. She said your legs is like kind of crossing. You was um, you had the fan. Oh, yeah, because I cross my legs like an old school nigga. <laughs> I do, don't I, baby? Am I lying? Shit. No, they I... said cross like these, like a woman. Yeah, just like an old school nigga do my dad. Yeah, I know exactly what they talk when they say your legs was crossed and you was fanning yourself yeah. in church. I, you look, yo, man, who can imagine SD being like that? He's an old, he is a. What the listen, fuck, yeah, that's how I see it. The fuck? Just, I, I don't care what y'all say. Man, I don't got no reason to lie about it. I do sit no. like this, like an old school nigga, like a pimp would. The fuck hell? That's me. In church. <laughs> they, I, look, I ain't tripping. He was at church. I want to know why the fuck she was video recording me, though. Just to have it probably that way she can. Oh, that was some more of my questions that I did have. Like, do you think that, uh, y'all, we need to just, we can we finish okay. up? Okay. Because I, I do want to know your, okay, maybe we need to just, um, have a uh we you have to you should take some of this stuff in because i want to know what your thoughts are on um if she, if, if do you think that isha has some hidden agenda so look erisa says you know i'm not lying as he was raised by og <laughs> yeah i'm not crazy i'm being for real Aesthetic. <laughs> that girl kills. Cause we done made it three three hours and and, and thirty three minutes. I think that we. Damn, that was the stupidest thing I ever done, bro. What kind of snake <laughs> shit like that? Tell her she win. Fuck this shit. I'm done. I ain't no telling what the fuck else that bitch got. I ain't no telling, bro. Fuck that bitch. Bro. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. That's some weird shit. You video me in church? What the fuck? We go there to praise the Lord and your ass taping me. The fuck? Hell no. Nah. Well, I'm tired. I'm gonna have to end the thing. I have an hair me too, Jay. tomorrow. So y'all, yeah, Jay gotta go get get her um get fine for her man tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. I'm glad y'all doing good. Y'all feeling good. Um, as the praise God. Don't worry about that. The Lord was looking over you. Don't you me, worry. I, about I ain't coming back, me. I'm done with this shit. This shit weird. That does weird me the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie. I know. Jay, I know. Wow. <laughs> Well, good night. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Well, it's going to be morning, but good night. Okay. Thank you for coming, Jay, to SD. Y'all enjoy your day tomorrow. You're uh, welcome. Bye. It. Okay. Look, I'm I'm getting tired, too, y'all. Y'all not tired yet? My boyfriend downstairs like, I don't care. Look. Ciao. SD, she like, oh, Lord. Y'all think she lying SD up? Lord. Lord, we not going to do that. Montre, what? <sighs> Can we have, all right, how about this? We going to wake up early in the morning. We going to talk about this because, <sighs> Lord, you been tired? Lord. This was good new. This was good. Um, this is a good talk though. I think different relationships, everybody's relationship is not gonna be like yours. Um, you know, I, I commend Jade for, you know, this good che- first of all, cheating and and your man, just listening to things that someone you love, um, you know, things that they may have done, it can be really, really hurtful. So I commend her for even being open to talking about it, you know. Let's just let's do part to you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Well, I love y'all. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. We um, let me see if somebody here. y'all know we have the you up early in the morning. All right, y'all want to have coffee and like chit chat about this? Do 
Dang. We had some, Lord. <laughs> okay, but y'all, let's have a let's have a coffee and chit chat tomorrow morning. How about that? So y'all go to sleep, get some rest, and we will get back tomorrow morning. So SD and um Jay probably won't be here, but we can just at least we can you know talk about this was th this could be some learning lessons for men and women, y'all. So let's just get back to it in the morning, um, for some coffee. Okay, can we talk like girlfriends tomorrow, girl? Can we talk like girlfriends in the morning? Like, girl, what happened last night? Okay. Okay. All right. Love y'all. Um, Mob Squad, MS for L. You already know it's Mob Squad for life. Um, and again, thank you, SD. Thank you, Jay, um, for coming along and giving your side of the story. Um, I think it was some learning lessons and it was very, it was good to hear from some people, you know, a couple that may not. They may not um, have the same views as you. So, but good night, y'all. Make sure y'all meet me for coffee in the morning. Okay? Because we got to chit chat about this. And I'm not going to stay in job. Don't stay in me out. Okay? All right. Bye, y'all.